Hello everybody, I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you enjoy the gift sub. Shout a little bit. So I was just checking the uh, even beat, odd beat scenario, because we're in the final day of the event. So technically we could get like two more episode four quests. So I guess I'll see if I see Dwarfon today. I mean, this is just sad. Chat, you can all tell the moment of when uh, episode 4 just didn't give me anything. As I said before, we, we did over 60 in one day. I think if you add 27, 27, we did 54, 30. We did 84. Then we did at least two or three sets of, of four. Or 27, I mean. So, kind of insane. We're almost at like 300. But anyway, I, I guess I'll hop in. I'm not sure who's around. Parameter saying this is Dreadnought. This is indeed Dreadnought. Map 2, 7, 20, or 17, 28. I'm like, if I have to, I'll do solo episode four. Listen, chat. <laughs> like, I just want to see if we see a single Dorfana clear. If not, you could just, you could do a round of applause. If we get to like 930 and it's still not there, actually sad. Also, I wish it stopped displaying my mouse by default because I always mouse it over different windows. I forget that PSO eats my uh, mouse input. So I'll double check if anybody wants to play, otherwise I'll just do some solo runs. Hmm. Anything I need to get in particular? Uno Moss, nice. Gundam Wing, that is the name of a, a game. Who's in quad damage? Wait, quad damage, but there's a force? Get out of here. Actual lies. Actual lies, chat. Add dragon? Oh no. Um. Alright, okay, well. I guess I'll start with some solo stuff. Yeah, this is going to be like one of three quests that I think we're going to do. Let me see how hard it is to do solo Ramar. Give people a chance to trickle in. That doesn't quite combo kill. Technically, I could do surface resets if I really wanted to. Also, I just realized I never defense up. Move the Rappy, don't care. Our life is pretty easy as the Ramar. I really landed the first special, but not the second or the third. Game, please. I feel like the game is actively trolling me with these demons. Like, you saw that. I didn't even have a 100% guarantee chance to hit that special. 
So I had below an 80% chance, because that's my threshold. So sad, Chad. Yeah. Demons is like, oh, did you do you get do you have two guaranteed hits? Not if I have anything to say about it. Activation rate says no. Yeah, that's why I don't really like hell runs, to be honest with you. That's like like one of the major reasons I don't really care about hell. I do care about hell on very hard mode though, because I feel like it's actually consistent. Like for the most part, like it, it works on like almost everything. And I'm okay with it working 100 percent of the time on like 50% of the enemies. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, I just needed to work on, like, 10 enemies in the run and it just fails. Well, thank you, Remote, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well today. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling lasers would not knock me down, and that was a good assumption. It's been a while since I did solo, but I'm like, I don't think it does enough damage to do that. Like remote battery. Oh my gosh, it actually did what it was supposed to. Oh my gosh, it did it was it did what it was supposed to. Chad, we need a round of applause. We called demons out on that BS proc rate earlier. <laughs> we we got the back-to-back -back demons. That's what I need. Hell yeah. One moon atomizer. We're playing solo. We don't need that. looking at the even beat. Yeah, if I do solo, it's, I could probably only do two. If we do multiplayer, maybe I could do three. Like, it's always going to be slower single player compared to multiplayer. Unless you're with, like, a really bad team. <laughs> like, it's all humor. This kind of sucks because I have to focus the zoo. I killed the zoo. I think I'm good. There we go. It's weird playing single player because you come you become more aware of your position is wrong and I have to like sit there and analyze it. I really needed to bring my Yashimana cops. And I could do without, but it's just annoying. It's one of those things. I prefer Yashmenikov versus the zoo. And it's not bad against Astark. Although it depends on what kind of buffs you have and what debuffs the enemy has, whether it's a combo kill. the one out of range. Unfortunate. Wait, how, how is that with the one out of range? Game please. Okay, you cheated me. I don't care what you say, PSO. How did that one of all the ones not get targeted? I almost want to, I almost want to replay how it was like dead center almost. Holy game please. Actually getting trolled. Speaking of getting trolled, time to get hit by Dwarf on. Oh, that was a perfect demons, actually. GG. Yeah, stuff like that makes me want to get a demon mech gun. Where I, I just wanted to hit once. So if I get three chances, it, it, it gets rid of some of the BS. So for me, demon mech guns is going up higher on the list. I think I mentioned last time, like, I probably want, like, a Hell Slicer. Demon mech guns, maybe a rest needle if I play this character more. Otherwise, uh, 
L shot for uh, CCC clears. Because that's all I'm going to use it on, I'm be honest with you. I don't really care about seabed runs. Also, need to remember his buffs do not last very long. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Please tell me chat saw that. I missed triple normal on Heaven Punisher. I hope chat saw that. That was like actually... <laughs> this one is that, that was actually nonsense. They weren't even doing anything crazy. They were just walk. They were walking at me. Ow. I'm not even playing on anguish. What the heck was that? Yeah, so please. Ramar, Ramar has not been missing his normals in eons. He doesn't even really miss Deldep with normals. <laughs> like, how did I miss that with three normals? Holy. Actually wild. Also, I hate that that doesn't trigger laser. That's so annoying. Um, foolery, Chad. I swear shenanigans are happening. I saw the green cursor on the target, but then I didn't auto turn to shoot them with normals. What? You feeling okay there, PSO? I swear we're getting weird behaviors tonight. Like, some of it is my aim, but then others are like, I'm genuinely just getting cheated randomly. What the heck is this? What kind of what kind of game mechanics am I witnessing? I'm foolery. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this wave. I guess I could try to... I could try to spread needle. That sad moment where you just wanted to proc. It says no. Holy. Yeah, I need an arrest needle for this character. It's actually ridiculous. Keep in mind, Chad, I have a V5021. But this is as good as it gets until I get better paralysis. Interesting. I'm stuck. Not good. What am I stuck on? Which of the many dwarf bonds am I stuck on? Well, this is working as expected. I guess they have lower ESP, so it's a little better. The Astarks were like unstunnable. Hmm. Get the snake spire back, so let's just get rid of that. Hi. Right. So, I mean, like, it was rough at the points I thought it would be rough. I know exactly what I would do differently if I had different equipment. Like, definitely a Rust Needle, just to get the guarantee. I think it's important to do Spread Needle over Kunai there, because I need more individual chances. So, it triple hitting is not useful in a group of four. Did he actually kill them before they hit me? I don't think so, right? Oh, barely. Their ESP is not that high, so they're pretty spread needleable in solo if I really need it. Which I probably will in the Quadra Goron if I could reach them. Also, chat, to no one's surprise, no Dwarf on Eclair. Slow clap for Dwarf on Eclair. Genuinely patched out of my version. Let me know, chat. <laughs> if you see Dwarf on Eclair, please, please call this number. Lost and found. So sad. I mean, on the plus side, I'm having fun with Ramar. For a really long time, I didn't. 
Because honestly, it's like, I didn't have PP laser, I didn't have virus armor, I didn't have red ring. And I felt like he was kind of bad. And to be honest with you, I don't think my opinion has changed at all. I still think he's one of my weaker characters. I think he just needs so many challenge rank weapons in order to like be quote unquote worth it. And or like really high roll LNK, which I don't have. Like, he could get away with, like, low X-Cal, for example. He could definitely get away with, like, worse gear in some scenarios. But, like... I haven't found, like, his calling, quote-unquote. Really? They shot me out of that? That really sucks. Also, I didn't realize Laser could hit Rappies. Did you know that, chat? Did you know the Zoo Laser can hit other enemies? I didn't know that. I know Dwarf on Laser did. Because they took 300 there and I didn't do anything. I did not know that. It's so it's so infrequent. <laughs> not relevant most of the time. Well, speaking of which, I can uh, Twins myself. I think I do want to do. Be a great excuse to use some Charge Arm. Or if I have to spread Needle Stun Law. Come on, stop it. You know, this Gurdabulu is really annoying in single player. Because they have 58 SP, which means I'm not very likely to hit them with the Spread Needle, which is the thing I'm more worried about. Like, I don't care about Gurdabulu, but Gurdabulu pulling me into them is kind of annoying. Look forward to less annoying enemies with Gurdabulu. <laughs> I'm like, I actually would rather have the Goron Detonator, because I could just paralyze all of them. Um... Yeah, when I go in the other area, I might as well stun lock. With, uh, twins. Not like I'm not gonna get meter before I'm in the boss room. Like, the boss will probably give me, like, 40. How I view it. I just have to get 60 by just getting hit in the face repeatedly. You're a fool. I think I got cheated there. I think the paralysis almost landed, but then they teleported out of the way. It was so sad. And if only they were just a little closer. So they teleport behind me and go further away. What trolls. I hate these enemies. I don't have like a Yashminikov, as I said before. That's usually what I prefer to deal with them as well. Or vices for Berserk. But obviously if I'm single player, I don't really want to Berserk. <sighs> it's too far from the zoo. I should have stood forward, further forward. I wanted the initial lasers to hit when I did the triple shot, so that, that would happen. That's what I was trying to do. If the zoo is just like a slight annoyance, but if the zoo hits me while I'm getting attacked by the Marissas, that's a big problem. Speaking of which... Get them out of here. Did that zoo live by 1 HP? Did that Marissa live by 1 HP? What is happening? I'm, Chad, I'm being actually trolled in real time. <laughs> what are these damage rolls? Game, please. <laughs> like, come on. That has to be ultra unlucky. To not kill any of the things hitting me by 1 HP. Damage range on arms, please. It wasn't even Spread Needle that has, like, an outrageous range. Actually, BS. So sad. On the plus side, I have a lot of meter now. I'm gonna dodge the laser here. Let's kill you. I don't care if the Gorons hit me. Honestly, they're pretty low threat level. They just won't let me charge arm. This is where, like, if I had a good, uh... Spear. Like, if I had a really strong Partisan, I would just be bullying them right now. They're, like, a little too far apart for me to want to use Excal. Um... I try to kill the Zeus here. Do I have anything that does more damage? Not really. I don't care if they get spooked. We're looking to just end the quest.
I'm gonna shake my head on that one. I hit him with the laser shot, but it didn't interrupt the dive. Also, it has me turned around. Thank you, game. Will you stop? Did he live by one HP again? Are you kidding me? Is that the problem with laser? It just does one shy? That is so horrendous. <laughs> please, please buff my MST by five. Thank you. Let's get that guaranteed kill. Yeah, I burned a lot of trimates there, which is kind of annoying. That's so sad. Things you learn, because you don't normally play Romar here. Yeah, my buffs are gonna wear off. Slightly too far. Let's walk over here and then shoot. Yeah, me teleported. If he didn't teleport, I would have gotten the stunlock. I wonder what causes them to teleport. Like, I know they teleport if you shoot at them, but, like, sometimes they just do that. Like, I'm not doing anything in particular, and they just do it. Because it causes me to miss shots, which is very annoying. If I'm like this, the other guy will just fireball, which I'm okay with. They can just normal, normal, normal this guy out. That's my version of AI, but if, I'm like, if he fireballs me, I'm okay with that. I just don't want him to dive on me. That's just a big waste of time. You dare turn away from that zoo and make me miss. Wave my finger at you. Also, I did realize it to deban first instead of shift to unlucky. A little hello? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, don't tell me my controls got reset. Hold on, chat. We're gonna check it in a second. No, 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 no. That was not human error. Something happened there. One second. I knew it. It didn't save it. Joy to keep, please. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. I'm getting trolled by Joy to Key. I definitely hit save. I definitely closed Joy to Key, and it definitely did not save it. So I'll have to see why it's doing that on the new computer. It'd be like a permission issue. I hit something and I got a dead key. I'll put it that way. <laughs> So I, I, I have this stick sensitivity to certain things, so I think you couldn't tell I was wiggle wagging as I was doing it. Um, we'll talk about that later. Build these for now. I'm worried it's just detecting like the same input. Like I was kind of like wiggling it from neutral, but it might not have been sensing the dead zone. Because I was letting it go to neutral a couple times, and I was like, I did not escape that like I normally do. Rip. Where my dead zone at? Will you stop turning? Stop it! Game, please. Okay, there we go. Good enough. I got my night blast back for the final room. Yes, unfortunately, it does take the raw more a long time. I just don't have what I need, I think, for the quest. I was just curious. We'll probably switch to a different quest after this. Since I don't really want to do a 25 minute run. At least the stun lock exists. It's kind of nice. Why did you teleport? See, chat, that right there, I want to know. Why did he teleport just then? That broke my uh, shots. I want to learn. I don't know why sometimes they react to the, the shot, or sometimes they react without me doing anything. Like, I know they react to shotgun, and that's annoying, or spread needle. But, like, in that scenario, if they had stayed still, I would have gotten the kill. Or if they rotated in place, that's also not a problem. There's like little nuances that I need to learn in single player. 
Normally the enemies die too quickly in multiplayer, so it's hard to learn the nuance. Sometimes I'll play single player to learn it. Like right there, why did he teleport? Is it because he got stuck somehow? But then why did the other guy teleport? Because he wasn't stuck, he was facing me. I don't know. I wonder if there's like a magic distance they just decide to teleport. Speaking of which... Speaking of which... I'm just shrugging. Do they just decide to swipe a random number of times before they do it? I know, I wanna- I wanna learn. I don't understand why they're doing that. Cause it throws me off, for sure. Also, I forgot how far the Marissa can leap. It's kind of unfortunate. I might actually have to go back for Trimates, because I wasted a lot on the surface getting trolled. I'm not gonna have enough for the boss. How annoying. Okay, we're- Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely my least favorite wave for the low play. I don't like Marissa Zoo. Don't like that combo. Everything else I don't care about. Oh, Marissa Zoo? Mm -mm -mm. Do not like. Well, welcome, Minus X. Hope you're doing well. I should be behind the zoo right there. That's what I wanted. Just need to go like a little more over here so I could have laser them a little sooner. So I think, like, in single player, you have to play to this. Unfortunately, the zoo somehow got out. I guess they slapped me out of the stunlock. No, I still got him, I guess. How's stream going? Uh... Mediocre. I'm learning that Goron Detonators are big trolls. I think every enemy is really predictable to me, except for him. I don't understand why he teleports more than the others. I don't know if it's like a reach thing that makes him seem different, or what the deal is. That was meant to be a heart attack there. Uh... I really wish I had more trimates. I don't think a single one dropped on the way through. Yeah. I, well, there, I missed one trimate, excuse me. That's why chat lets him beat you up. He trolls us too. I mean, he's, he's easy in multiplayer. I don't care about him in multiplayer. Just in single player, I don't understand why he teleports randomly. Like, I understand if I'm shooting a gun, that makes sense, but just sometimes he's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna be over here now. And I'm like, but why? Ooh, that doesn't knock me down. That's actually kind of scary. I better move in. That might kill me. Please crit. No crits, apparently. Could have waited a couple seconds. Might have saved me a walk. Yeah. Like, most of the time, I just play cast and I just freeze trap them. But I'm playing single player, so I can't both freeze trap and pew pew laser. Honestly, chat, if you're getting trolled by it, use your freeze traps. That's gonna be my hardest advice to you. If you're getting abused by him and you don't have freeze traps, you should be debuffing him. If you don't have any of the above, I don't know who you're playing as. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, are you playing Ramar into it? Question mark? Umar? And you need challenge mode weapons. Unfortunately, we're probably going to get another Centurion, so no Galatine here. So I'm going to give up on this run, because, uh, you know, I was hoping it'd be closer to, like, 21 minutes, but, you know, looking into it, it's going to be, like, 26 plus now. Yeah, you need to really get into a habit. If you find yourself ending a run with freeze traps, you're doing it wrong. That's going to be my easiest advice to you as a trap user. If you have any freeze traps left over, you did it wrong. Just period. It better it better be TTF. <laughs> that either that. Yeah. Oh, I almost got the heal glitch. That would have saved me some time. I was greedy. I shouldn't have done that. I almost got the heal glitch there. That was close.
Yeah, like, honestly, like, if you're not actively... Like, it's okay if you play a quest for the first time and you don't know what's going on. But if you're playing a quest, like, 10 plus times, you should really be saying to yourself, where should I use freeze traps? If you are doing that, you're also doing it wrong. Because a lot of the times, you just have to think about, like, what is the most off... How did... I want to replay on that. How did that hit me? <laughs> that graphic did not collide with me. I'm sorry. Uh, check the tapes. Shenanigans. But yeah, you should be asking yourself, what are the waves that are not easily defeated? So, like, in episode four, it's everything with Marissa, everything with Goron Detonator. Welcome, Dango. So I would start there at bare minimum. Let's look at a Centurion. So sad chat. Rip. So many of these. I officially have infinity more Centurion abilities than Dorfa Declare sightings. Not even Dorfa Declare rares. I've officially seen more of those than anything else. Actually insane. So anyway, unless chat is here to play some multiplayer, I will be skipping this run. I would like to do a few more, or at least one more, while PP Laser is up. I need to get some Trimates first, so we'll see if chat wants to play. Also, I have too many badges. Ocleave says they're like 8 PDs. I don't trade those, so they just sit there. Welcome, Ocleave. Actually sad. I think I'm up to like 9 at this point. You're grabbing this clip. Oh, you mean when I got hit by the mystery laser? That did not touch my character. That was like actually shenanigans. Oh, you can't post links. Yeah, you gotta ask permission. I could try to see why it didn't whitelist it. I guess I could do it. Yeah, that was like actual tomfoolery. Yeah, I just, I just did a double take, because I'm like, it's not going to hit me, and then I was like, no. <laughs> that definitely hit me, but it should not have. Hitbox, please. Please vaguely look like it matches the target. Oh, somebody in Hellcleave's guild at level 1. I'm assuming it's a Hellcleave uh, character bank. I don't know who else would be level 1 in block 2. I am making mags as hell cleave. It's me. Dude, I started float off the ground like gravity wasn't a thing. Damn. Okay. Is anybody willing to hop in for multi? Otherwise, I have to do some single player runs. Because I'll, I'll need at least two players if I want to do episode four. I don't want to play with just two people in episode four. That's a little brutal. No worries, I'll cleave. Hopefully you're doing well, Dango. Focus is the that's the cast, that's nice. Dango could join in. Thank you, Dango. Should be able to get one pew pew laser run in. Let's see let's see if we get Centurion ability number five during the event. Keep in mind, I had three or four prior to today because I would, uh, I used to do the Black Papers deal, so I got at least two from that and then at least one on a different end. So I, I am fairly confident I have seven now. But I'll probably do a character bank later. Because you have to think, I put two sets of Centurion abilities of two ofs on two different characters and I still have two of the share bank. And one of the characters that uses them is separate from this character. So actually, I might have eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the game. Is there anything you wanted to hunt in particular, Dango? We haven't gamed as much with you today. 
<clears throat> but we, we can give a salute to Dwarf on a clear. Literally not seen the entire event. GG. Nice, Dengotron. You up for anything? Yeah, I'm decided if I want to go for Cannon Rouge or not. We might wait a little later. I mean, in two and a half hours, it's probably going to be even beat again. Welcome, Promethean. Hope you're doing well. We're just gathering up for episode four. We have a free slot if you'd like to hop in. We're going to see if we see a single Dwarf on a clear tonight. <laughs> It's the last chance for them. I have not seen them the entire event. It, this is actually sad. <laughs> Just like this, this is what normally happens, Chad. When you when Chad, when Chad asks me for like builderly runs, this is what happens. <laughs> I just get trolled all day long with Dwarfana Player. I think we saw one in like very hard mode or something, but I don't think we've seen a single one in ultimate. Like, actually nonsense. But yeah, if Chad has any particular hunts, I'm more than willing to uh, help out with it. Promethean dancing around. We'll do the Hellcleave communication. And bees. Rare monsters are a joke. Oh, for sure. Like, I keep going for not Conjure You, and I keep getting Conjure You. Getting trolled by this game is real. And I think I think multiple people from the stream were it, bore witness to what was it the quadruple conjure <laughs> when I was playing his green ID and all I want is Galatine. Like you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Need Heaven Striker from Condi or Lame? Uh, I mean if we have a good enough team, we could play off even beat. I just have to pick a force. So if you don't care if it's red or green ID, I could probably host uh, non-boss runs for Heaven Striker. I don't, I don't believe in the country boss runs, yeah. Alright, we'll do some of that. I don't mind getting another Cannon Rouge or something. So we could do new mop-up operation 3 after this, and or if you still want to do a boss run without even beat, that's fine. You switch to your Ramar. I was gonna say it's gonna be the end of Even Beat. Kinda need everybody here, because the timer is ticking. Please hurry. <laughs> I would like to have Even Beat for at least the final room. I have Cannon Rouge to deal with the boss. There we go. So we'll talk. Yeah, I don't mind getting X Cal's or Cannon Rouges. I do actually need, like, physically need more Cannon Rouges because I made another Ranger. I'm actually one shy. Because you, you know, in theory, if Dwarf on Declare shows up, I could get it. I'll do whatever buffs I can. Welcome, Tiggy. I didn't see any server announcements saying it was going down. I don't know if it's one of those automatic turnoffs or not. I don't know if anybody knows from witnessing the Discord. Because one of the other events was automatic. They didn't need to restart the server. There we go. My, my gun realized where I wanted to do. Oh, did they change it? Yeah, I I thought it was for tomorrow because that's when it was. That that's what they listed in the event. They definitely listed tomorrow, but if they meant end of day tomorrow, that's kind of whatever. Yeah, maybe they mean literally midnight or something. So I mean, if it's still up, I don't mind playing a little longer. Hear him. 
Yeah, because last time they did an event, they didn't need to reboot the server. Because we talked about that last time, where the, the holiday event just turned off. Automatically. The lobbies reset without booting anybody. Who knows? Pew, pew, pew. Wow, demons just did not want to work there. That's so sad. Rip demons, I tried. It would have saved time. Oh, awkward freeze. Yeah, my rule of thumb is just never freeze the owies. Always confuse trap them. Stall them a little bit with my fireball. Let me know exactly when they can get hit. Good luck to anybody in the middle. I could fully will say no. Okay, will I get trolled? I did. I hit the other one. In my defense, I hit the other one. It did not hit the one I was actually facing, though. Direct, apparently. Also, we're. I was gonna say, most of the team will probably need something other than my buffs. I know I don't have the best buffs. I don't need it at the moment, but I'll need it probably when we go underground. Dangotron will need it though. I just want to make sure the zoo is locked down. I could deal with the Buddhas anytime. Oh, I could get my escape doll back. That'll be nice. I don't think we've seen a Heaven Striker this event, so going for those I think would make sense too. We got a Cannon Rouge, but it was pretty terrible. I could do some Vivian runs, I think, on Monday, but I don't think that'll be streamed. Wish me luck on those, chat, because I've had no luck with those. Legit, I think, got seven Rambling Maze before I saw a single Vivian. Actually insane. Landed the demons. Oh, bad. Missed the lines. Yeah, no, I'll play Force for episode four. I don't care about that. I'd rather the people with challenge mode weapons do damage. There we go, that was a good shot. This is indeed a Galatine run. I don't want to see Conjuru, but <laughs> knowing my luck, it's going to be yet another Conjuru for ultimate trolls. Yeah, it's Heaven Striker, technically Cannon Rouge in air quotes. B101. So we're getting little, little minor chances at Heaven Striker in the run. But we'll do a more dedicated run after this, which also levels people pretty heavily.
I was not standing in the right place. I was gonna say, I hope somebody goes back and clips the miss, miss, miss with my normals on the Heaven Striker. That one's actually insane. I'm not sure if you caught it earlier, Promethean. I did a triple normal shot at an enemy walking towards me and it missed as Ramar. I'm just like, what? <laughs> How? That should be impossible. Just physically, the percentages were in my favor. Welcome, Chris Agrim. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, like, that that was insanely unlucky. I couldn't even tell you why that dodged. Like, at one point, he was almost completely uh, perpendicular to me, and it whiffed. Actual madness. Think the Blue Forest Cult is sacrificed to Orphana Claire? I think so. Ripped Orphana Claire. Literally not seen this entire event. Welcome, Hank. Hope you're doing well. We're listening to some, uh, I believe, Doom soundtrack. Memento Mori. I've not actually played Doom, but it was recommended, so we're listening to the soundtrack. Enjoy the soundtrack, if nothing else. Goodbye, lizards. Hello, four chances of Heaven Striker. Why, yes, I would like you to drop for the group. It would be appreciated. Oh boy, Marissa time. Yeah, this is where I should... Oh, I don't even have a Charge Vulcan on me. That also explains some things. Charge Vulcan I also like as an alternative to... Uh... Astarks. I need to go grab it out of my bank. Put a weapon away that I'm not using. Which honestly is Excalibur at the moment. Whatever. Mm. Yo, he's bringing Cannon Rouge in case the uh, timer runs out. Oh, that reminds me, chat. Uh, I put up on the Discord a vote for the next week's game, since Affinia will be ending its event allegedly, <laughs> allegedly soon. As I said before, Affinia has also been kind of infamous for uh, not ending things on time, which is like, whatever. It's, it's more funny when it happens. I remember last time, I think it was literally last year, it was supposed to end prior to what was it, the Labor Day weekend or whatever, and then it got extended like a week. So sometimes the event's start and end date is uh, a big question mark. But I think this year they avoided it by starting a week late. I'm so sad it made me target to the left there, but well, whatever. almost the right position to stand in. It's close. Yeah, I want to see if I could get some unlocks going as we play other games. So there, there might be a bonus stream of us doing stuff, but I have to do some analysis. Actually, I shouldn't have stood over here. I should have been over here. Poor Dangotron. I'll buff you, Dangotron. There we go. Give it a zoom. Goodbye, Gertabulu. Double photon drop. There you go.
Ooh. There we go, nice little level up. I wonder if that frees me from Centurion usage. I'm getting bullied. by random enemies. I was gonna say, Hulk Levo is farming. Okay. I did my best. I managed to kill a couple. Now I'm just getting trolled. Well, don't tell me it undid my other button input as well. It's so annoying. I was trying to use my trimate, by the way, in the bottom button, and I pressed it and nothing happened, and I went, oh no. Something weird happened. I checked my controls again. I swear it's not me. It just, it actually just undid my controls from like a month ago for some reason. Batch. I don't want to be first in the room. We'll let Dango go first with the confused trap. I believe in you, Dango. We'll give you a salute. Run in, confused trap. Go to the red door. Prepare for a board detonator at the other side. That would be my advice to you. Rip Dango. You stop moving. That was mistake number one. I'm gonna. Temporarily swap soundtracks as we uh give the one detonator. Alright, so my rule of thumb, because uh Minus X was asking earlier about when to do stuff as cast. This room in particular, it's important for the cast to stay in the middle. Because you have to put it this way, there's gonna be double Goron detonator coming up here, then after that it's gonna be quadruple Marissa. So if you can freeze those waves, it saves so much time. Now granted, there's so much pew pew laser here that it's not- We literally got Pazuzu before Dorf on a clear. Game please. I beg of you. We don't even want the rare Pazuzu. No. Don't even want you. Actually getting trolled. Well, this is the Heaven Striker room if it's gonna appear. Let's see what happens, I guess. I think the game owes us like a million Heaven Strikers after that nonsense. Anyway, there's gonna be the Gorons here. I might as well just go pick that up and make it team points. It is worth 50. But see how I mean how all the problem enemies keep appearing in the middle? That's why you just kind of circle around as a cast. You'll go, hmm, can the teammates kill it? And it's going to be Gerdabulu at the other end, which I'm going to murder with the Slicer Fanatic, because I'm tired of this. Goodbye. Okay, what junk do I have to drop so I can pick this up? Drop evade material, sure. I should be good. Even if it switches to Berserk here, it doesn't really matter to me. I need the team to hurry up, though. Thank you. Thank you. I was, I was actually worried I was about to get conjured again. Like, please don't. So, Chad, I would like to say we officially saw two Pazuzu infinitely more times than a uh, single Dwarf on Claire. Oh, 
Oh, it bumped it. That's unfortunate. I got it. All right, so we're gonna switch over to Cannon Rouge. Team is using that gun. I would recommend Dango if you have Slicer. That's definitely a Slicer opportunity. All right, so I'm gonna need buffs. I could probably Cannon Rouge this boss down. I just need heals. It's not, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little ugly, because I'm probably gonna crit. But we'll do what we have to. So we'll leave Dango in the middle for sure. Uh, somebody's 869, they can't join us. So it's just me and Minus, I think. I do have Mag Blast, so I'm probably gonna use it very soon, just be warned. I'm gonna be using Dolphin. It interrupted me, the frame I was gonna press it, that sucked. Oh, nobody had it other than me. That sucks. It's not gonna kill them. Oh, well, it's gonna do like 2k. Careful. Don't don't use attacks that miss. That's how it gets desynced. There we go. Almost got the heal glitch. No, the missile! Oh, they trolled me! The one. Man. Stupid missile. At least it was only that one. It could have been much worse, but. I'm just getting hard trolled. I'm going to the to the side there to help. Stupid missile. I thought I had enough time to shoot one more time. Yeah, team should remain at the five o'clock position. It'll be there soon. Okay, GG. Right, let's see if we get a Galatine, then we'll move on to probably new mop up operation for Heaven Strikers. We'll just clear all of three, I think. Let's get the XP. I guess in theory we could reset before the quest ends, but whatever. No Galatine. The attempt was made. Welcome, Pun. Hope you're doing well. I'll switch over to probably Red ID. And I'll be a force, so that way we get big buffs. Yeah, I don't really plan on streaming on my day off. Monday I kind of need for personal time or else I feel burned out. I should be back. I will be out most of Tuesday, but I don't think it'll impact the stream time. But I'll let you know in the Discord if there's a small delay. I should be back before dinner time. We're going to get Humar to level 80. Ooh. Good luck with that. If it was not literally the end of the event, I would probably help. Hmm. I should go get a uh, magical piece plus adept. Yeah, the Humar struggle is real. be create for this quest. We'll do double adept. And probably 
Probably do need Gafoe and Rafoe. I do use both of them throughout the quest. Oh, who is my Rafoe? Uh oh. I don't think he's not put back. Alright, next quest. I'm going to check to see who has my Rafoe. My phone Newman does. Interesting. Anybody else that has it? No, just my phone. Alright. Why did, why did I just run into a wall? What happened? Yes, so. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, that was weird. I I would put I input the thing. Amplifier of Rafoe. Hold on to it then. Because that would help. Do I have a red barrier for that though? Is the question. I don't think I do in my share bank. I'm assuming you're just giving it to me to create. Yeah, blue bear. I think my red bear is on a different character. If you want anything for it, let me know. Yeah, it would be nice to eventually get some of those. Right now, I'm not in a rush. I haven't picked up a red barrier recently because I haven't been playing as much yellow ID. Like, I'm pretty sure I have one, like, because I just didn't know what to make with it. Yeah, I have two of them, and they are on my component's character, so I could probably make one Rafoe at least. So Gafoe's not bad, but there's a couple of rooms where Rafoe just makes more sense. I'll go fix that, I'll go get the component character stuff, I guess. Yeah, Yellow ID has, like, absolutely silly box drops. And I'm just gonna draw attention to that so people realize how dumb Yellow ID box drops are. <laughs> just like, it, it, like, when I do RT, I'm like, every box is, like, completely worth opening. I'm like, oh, Amplifier, Gafoe, and Red Barrier in the same run? Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna box check and coincidentally get stuff. Also, I should probably debuff. Yeah, like, I'll want Gafoe for these rooms, but when we get in the big open rooms, it makes more sense to Rafoe. So I'll give uh, Promethean some PDs there. Yeah, ideally I'll make another Gafoe merge, because that's the one that's usually in higher demand. This quest is like one of the few ones where I'm like, no, I genuinely need Rafoe. The other one is uh, Massive Attack B, because there's literally a whole room where I would do it. That little S shape room is basically Rafoe, as is the room beyond. Who would mind cycle one in this quest in multiplayer? It would save me needing multiple ones. Otherwise I could just fire scepter. Oh, okay, that's up to you, Promethean. On the plus side, I could just full heal all day long with this character. So, usually I kind of view this character as like the second force in this kind of quest. If it was worth the story, that'd be a different story. Or Cookie, I mean, yeah. So, fortunately, healing the group should be pretty easy, as long as I don't just get hard bullied like that. I'm going to put a couple of grants it down. Diva, heal, Diva. Everything getting low.
get that health loss. And go try on the brave. Go on item hunting. Um, I'm gonna move more towards the center of the room while they do this. This room is okay to go in. It's not like the worst. There's some enemies that are just too far, but the others I can at least chip out a little. Yeah, I like the fact that she has the boosted Rester range and I can still do damage. This would probably be like the only time I would consider potentially bringing in support stuff as like Ponyman. Just to keep other players alive. Not that I, you know, think it's efficient at high level play. There's always that one satellite lizard I can't reach. I'll lure the crappies towards me. Get a couple of free kills. Best to avoid the healing circle. If you have escape doll, it's better definitely to retrap. I sometimes just don't do it because I don't feel like burning escape doll, but it's not the right play. I do go there as a cast, usually not on the first one, but the second one, just to make sure I burn all my freeze traps. Because again, my goal is to use them as often as possible. It's like Goron detonators. They're like a no-brainer auto freeze. After that, it's more subjective. What waves are problem waves? I like that this enemy is still about to bully me. <laughs> Even with the gel in, I'm like, yeah, my defense is actually just terrible. It doesn't matter. Yeah, look at that. I almost died. I had to heal. Actually insane how bad our defense is. It's definitely a Zalur room. Really? They pushed me out of gel in range? Now I just got interrupted. I need help, chat. Please stop letting him hit me. I can't do anything. Her slow casting does make me sad. So she should level up again. She'll feel good from the standpoint of uh, defense. Ideally, we want to get her close to 1400 health. Sadly, I think she actually has mat count consumes HP. Pumpkin with the different directions. Yeah, like, this is her after 125. I think she's one of the few characters where I'm like, I, I think it's justified just to eat the HP material if you're gonna play her. I think we talked about that last time. There's a lot of characters I don't like it on. I don't really like going above 2k health. Like, the difference between 1800 and 1899, for example, I don't think makes a big difference. But as you start getting over 2000, it, you go into the danger zone of, like, Norfon possibly not knocking you down, which is actually gutter trash when that happens. It's such a shame that the game punishes you for too high health due to how the invincibility works in multiplayer. Never been a big fan of that. Like, oh, you have more health? You're now more vulnerable than ever. Like, what? I don't know how that's supposed to work. Yes, yeah, so please. Sega Balance. Bonk. Everybody's been healed. Parameter helping list out the tracks. Uh oh, we have Promethean typing. Oh, 
I have to see how... Actually, chat, does anybody want to have a guess? Or maybe somebody sniped it earlier. How many look materials do you think I've picked up? This is the last time I reset them. Keep in mind, two weeks into the event, I put them all away. But also keep in mind, we got a lot yesterday. <laughs> like, a disgusting amount. I'm curious if I'm double digits or not. I actually don't remember. We'll have to check that. We were averaging more uh, luck material in a session than rare enemies. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, didn't get crit? Okay, never mind. We live another day. Damn, I'm getting bullied. The bullying is real. I stepped in that, that was dumb. Wonder if I'm at like 12. Make a trial and getting traps back. No. Prison shooter with 30 hit, nice. Rip Promethean. So I don't have Rafoe. I think this makes sense to debuff everything here. Make it way safer for everybody. This room's okay to Rafoe in, because at least the satellite lizards walk into it eventually. But ideally here, I'm just going to do this a couple times. Dangotron. Divine. Oops. I have to go see where that is. She definitely should have one, because I normally glide divine this room. It's not the end of the world if I don't have it, it just means I need to move forward to compensate. Not a big deal either way. Oh, we came to Imperameter's favorite trap. Yeah, this room is kind of awkward. Oh, nice level up. This room is kind of awkward in the sense that there's going to be like a long wave of satellite lizards and then roughly in the middle is going to be the Goron detonators again there's not really i mean you can help a little bit here but roughly if you draw i think from the door from the north downwards there's going to be a lot of Goron detonators near me i'm going to need help oh, let's try to do this and save the team oh we're slingshot i can't heal you there we go I'll heal through it eventually. So sad when I get hit out of spells. No close yet so far. There's not too many waves left. Oof, PD. That's unfortunate. Nice, I'm still at Max Synchro. Look at that chat, I almost have Mag Blast. See, I could Mag Blast and freeze everybody in place as they chip out and die. That's what teamwork is, trolling teammates. Fun fact, yes, you can die during uh, Mag Blast in this area.
Do you triple track for me? Oh, somebody actually trolling. I'm getting trolled. Too bad that's not the burning room. I could have don't. If you had waited for me to get hit, I actually could have upgraded you. It's so unfair. Uh, have I even used a. Uh, I have one tri fluid used it. I'm using double add up right now, so it's not that bad. By all these enemies. Yeah, we're pretty much at the final room. thinking from the standpoint, if this character gets more stats, I'd be able to get away with the PP crate on this quest, because I, in theory, could bring it here. I'm gonna try fluid. Pick that up. Ding. Somebody got it. I could get hit if you want a mag blast. Although, honestly, the room's almost done. I was gonna say, if anybody's selling PB in increase, not create, increase. If somebody's selling increase, let me know. I wanna pick up a couple. The time difference does matter for me, because I usually double stack it, so getting potentially two mag blasts and boss rush would be big. It means I could give the team some super buffs, especially if we're not playing PP lasers. I've made a few of them personally, I just. I just don't remember what the components are. I probably still have the components on a different character. It's one of those ones where it needs like a whole weird hodgepodge. I might be missing like one component or something weird. I know there's some where it's like, oh, you need like Ice Caliber or whatever. I'm like, oh, I have all the other components, but just not those. Gorn detonator. Thinking the room will be done before I need to buff again. Find out how accurate that is. Although now that the way it's being cleared. It doesn't matter. We're just, we're literally on the last wave. I feel like team is trolling. I felt like nobody was doing damage for like 10 seconds. It was so sad. That's it. Where was that mine material? You know what? I'm back for it. So I'm going to briefly switch characters. I'm going to go make or bring in at least my A red barrier. Oh, I didn't get cutscene locked. I'm out of there. It was like GG. Dolls. All right, let's go get a red barrier. And then we'll check to see how many luck materials I have. F. Used. gonna make a red barrier real quick.
So Chan, I might I might have too many PDs. We're gonna have to make some Photon Wards later. Hmm, is there anything in here that I actually need? Take a red barrier. Do I have any other amps? There are so many items in here. I forgot I had two parasitic team flows. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, I have a Rafoe already, but I don't have a Gafoe. It's so sad. But anyway, chat. What I'm curious about: how many luck materials do I have? 19. That was 19 from just two weeks ago. If you wanna, if you wanna figure out the math on that one, other than a lot, by all means. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have like four or five of those floating around. I don't mind burning a couple PDs for convenience. Cause I hate, cause I swap so many characters. It's not like I'm playing one character consistently. Even when I stream, I'm playing like six plus characters. It's gonna be really annoying babysitting a whole bunch of items. So it's like I'm paying a PD to save myself like 30 to 50 minutes in the future. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably worth a PD to not have to constantly walk back and forth for like the next five years to the next thing. Kind of worth. Because you have to think. Because, like, every time I have to start the quest, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's about 28 seconds. Plus, I have to go through a menu. So I'm probably losing like a half minute every time I have to go in here and swap items. So it really does add up across many streams. Inventory full. Speaking of getting trolled. <laughs> and that also loses additional time. I should be able to do this, and then do this. There we go. Well, this actually rolled better stats. My merge was actually decent. Chakuku were asking last day for a man. I think it's the last day I'll stream. I'm gonna put question marks as to when they actually end it. I'm not gonna say yes. I refuse to answer that question because they have almost never ended events on time. <laughs> I'm gonna say allegedly. Allegedly the final day was supposed to be on the 9th. But it's probably gonna be end of day tomorrow. But will it be? Who knows? It could be like Wednesday or something they close it. Put a big question mark on the board. That's not the right quest. Hold on. Lobby. No, badges can be used at any time, Draco Cougar. I mean, I don't mind doing boss rush, but not right now. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at RBR. But my question is, does it? I didn't look at whatever the update was. Oh, it is there. Uh, yeah, we could do no mop-up operation for if you want. It would be the time to potentially do it. The downside to this quest is that it's... I find this one kind of boring. <laughs> Be honest with you, it, it's fun the RBR, but like, it, it does make it more competitive with three because I think three is just overall a better quest. One thing that helps this is that it removes the timer when it's in the RBR. Because we were showing this off the other day to showcase there were timers on this quest, 
Which is why I find it funny, because we always talk about, like, I don't like quests with timers, but then I talk about quests with timers in my recommendations. And it's like, bec it's because they remove it in RBR. <laughs> it's like 99% of the time. But, like, see how there's, like, not many enemies here? Honestly, I think this quest is, like, actually, like, no joke, I think this is a Hugh quest. I, I almost don't even see the point in playing Ranger in this quest. I'm be real honest with you. There there are barely any waves that are more than four, and if you have three people swinging with four, uh, with hunter weapons, then that only leaves one additional target. Did they really teleport dodge my debuffs? Did that just happen? That was so disrespectful. Because the thing is, is if all you do is melee, they just stop teleporting. So I, I actually had a lot of fun with this quest with a uh, Hugh Seal. I remember playing Hugh Seal into this, and this quest was so fun. Because it's like, look at all these things. They're all gear assailable, right? Like, why wouldn't I just gear assail every fight here? Like, look at this. Another group of four. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a couple waves that, like, justify the ranger. But it's, like, it's way more, like, few and far between compared to the other quest. So I definitely recommend if you have a point hunters, I would highly recommend. You can walk away. I'll, I'll deal with the rapid. It's it's like few and far between compared to the others. There we go. Cat going back and forth waiting for items. Oh, they forgot the switch. That makes more sense. So there is one place where we could teleport, and then one place where we really should teleport. We'll probably do both. Right now, I don't think there's anything we need to worry about. Also, I need to remember the path to go further. Is it left? This room? Yeah, see, like, group of three... Like, group of five, this is, like, close to requiring a ranger. But then, look, they put a stupid little yaoi in there. So honestly, my, my tip to people that play this quest during the weekly boost, regardless of the event is up, honestly, just bring your hunters. They're so good here. Like, four Gorons is like, okay. Exactly. It's like Confused Trap Central. They're like, oh, free kills? They're not going to teleport because nobody's using Ranger weapons? What a thing of beauty. They'll kill each other really quickly. I think it's this way. You'll know if it is or isn't based off of the door that's beyond, but honestly... If there's one thing I would like to request that does, like, literally nothing to change the run, if they could just please leave the doors locked that don't go anywhere, I would appreciate that immensely. That would save on, like, very arbitrary memorization in this quest. Yeah, like, te technically people reset in, like, the first room. We could clear the quest to clear the quest. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, the other one is definitely more of a force quest. I feel this one is, like, purely as a hunter quest. This is also probably one of the few times I would actually probably play Hunoral over other characters. Because I, I wouldn't really want to play Ramaral in here. There's no point to pew-pewing. Like, do I really want to pew-pew three satellite lizards? Not really. This many people? Like, there's a force here to help with Marissa's. Like, that's about it. That's, a, that's my only job. I'm assuming I go towards the middle. See if I get baited. Don't worry, Chad. I will absolutely forget which way to go in a moment. So one thing that we have to keep an eye out is that there is a laser gate here. So I'm going to reiterate. If you see me walk away from a door, do not follow me. I'm putting a warp down for later. So yeah, this is an example. I'm going to go ahead and put a warp down. Chad can continue going through the green door. If Chad could then do a very polite... Ryuker for me later. I would appreciate it. So what'll happen is that I can put this down here. I could... I got body. I can then take my Ryuker to meet up with Chad again, and then they could take mine on the way back. So this will save some time. There we go. Very, very polite Ryuker. Thank you. So we, we go on a little magical journey. It basically saves like 10 to 15 seconds, but like in only like an eight minute run or so that does kind of add up over time and considering we get to do it twice we get to save we like half a minute or more and that's where it really starts to add up 
So basically, I'm going to take my Ryuker again, and then I'm just going to literally telepipe it down, like, two feet from where I put it. So we're basically going to advance until we see uh, the switch. Once we hit the switch, we can just all take a teleport back. That's the visual cue. Because you can see how we just went multiple rooms. We'd otherwise have to walk backwards three rooms. So I cut out three rooms or more of walking. For those that aren't aware of the little telepipe tech. That was probably the biggest quality of life that somebody on stream taught me, and I totally feel bad that I forgot who told me. That was one of those ones I did not realize on my own. Other things we do on stream for the most part, honestly, it's mostly just been self-observation. Like, we, we taught ourselves the Anniversary Tower event. I did not play with other people. I just learned exactly what I needed to do and stuff like that, and I found that quest actually really fun. But, <laughs> but, there are other quests I've seen done well from other players. This was one of them. So yeah, pretty much once that switches down, we're just gonna pop it out. In fact, if somebody wants to just Ryuker now, they could, we just take it later. Cause I'll just hit the switch, cause I need to go last, so I'll be the designated hit uh, switch hitter. That would be my recommendation to save time. I'm gonna go hit the switch. Oh, I was going to say, no, no, don't hit the switch, because you guys have to go first. There you go. Come to my red one. Uh-oh. I don't know where chat's going. I'm, I'm red. There you go. Team trolling themselves. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Ryuker down, continue on to the next door. No worries. I'm going to put mine one, I'm going to put mine there, so just keep in mind. Look at how far we're walking and keep in mind where the switch is and we'd have to do this walk backwards. So it'd be like five, six, seven, eight, at least 15 seconds, maybe more, because the switch is in the next room. It's not even in this room. So yeah, we're, we're going to cut that out of the uh, quest. Downside though, PB is literally useless. So doing PB create, PB increase strategies on this are bad. Makes you want sprint. Yeah, unfortunately some episode 4 quests just have way too much walking. This quest is like borderline too much. There's at least ways you could cut it down a little. War of Limits 1 I think just goes on way too long. There's just way too much walking in that quest. Don't need to die fluid. Raffi's got hit. You can see like we're walking all this distance. So keep in mind, I'll be the switch hitter, and then chat will just take their own telepipe. So just remember, red, red is the safety area. Since I'm hosting the quest, it'll be 100% consistent to go to mine. So that'll that'll be easy for you to remember. We're also playing red ID. <laughs> red ID, red force, red telepipe. <laughs> Nothing but red, chat. So I'll take a little walk to your telepipe or whatever later. I'll try to buff you before you leave. So you get a little head start. There we go. Those Rappies are actually trolling. Can you please get up Rappies? Thank you. That's the last time I need to take my telepipe. Yeah, we just, we cut out a big portion of the quest there. But there, there isn't really a shortcut. You still have to loop around. It's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, you can see from like the sparse enemy count, like our XP per second is not really that great. So new map up operation three will always be superior in terms of XP per second. So even with the boost, it's, it's just not competitive. New mop, up, new mop up is much better. But if you're just looking for value per pyro, maybe it evens out with the rare and drop bonus. It is pretty high at the moment. Yeah, like, here's an example where somebody had Partisan or a Sword, like, it, just, it literally just deletes this entire room. So I had a lot of fun with, uh, actually exactly what Dango was using. I was using Red Sword on Hugh Seal, and I was just, like, bopping everything with that, or, uh, Vivian. <laughs> or Mech Guns. I'm gonna heal the team up a little. We're gonna go ahead and reapply some buffs, since this is a slow wave anyway.
Yeah, I'll do my best to Zalur a little more. Because this is definitely a very ATP focus run. It's not bad to do this quest in between. Like, if it's not even beat, this is probably one of the doable quests. Like, boss run can be a little rough without even beat, unless there's a lot of horses. Or, like, really high end gear. Yeah, this is, like, the closest it comes to requiring a ranger. But again, it's all fireable, so. If I'm here, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go pick up that badge. Assuming I'll just go back towards the main room. I was gonna say, when given the choice, I will go back. Don't kill me, Rappies. <laughs> okay. I, you know what? I honestly wasn't sure if they would. Pop some boxes. We're getting like 305 XP a second with the boosted XP. Like, that's fine. It's about on par with some of the anniversary quests. With RBR specifically. Without RBR, anniversary requests are better. As we saw from earlier. Yeah, this is also probably one of the few waves, and then the one after this. I think of the the only waves where it's like, okay, Ranger pays off a little bit here. Having having some long distance paralysis is useful. Because you can't really set up as a cast on these waves because they spawn prematurely. I wish they actually delayed it so that Hunter would be able to just free clear the whole quest. Probably the one of two waves I, I wish they modified in this quest. And this this wave is just obnoxious. I hate this wave is like a cast. We'll do our best to chip out the fire weak ones. Let chat deal with Gertabulu. Assuming somebody's demons. Yep, nice. Wait, where's the Goron? What? Must have been paralyzed or something weird. And that's the quest. That's like not bad. I like the other quest more. Good to have variety though. Uh, I'll just take the normal worth, I guess. Yeah, you're right, the other quest was better. Yeah, this this quest is okay. I think it's worth, like, showing off, but, like, if you're not gonna do the reset, this quest is definitely worse. This quest with reset is fine. It's just... as If you're doing a full quest clear, the other one is much better. Just so many more raw chances of items. Oh, geez, it's out of inventory space. Yeah, like both of both of them are literally like top three, I would say, quests in episode four in terms of value. The amount of value you could get on the resets here is insane. But you have to be willing to do like a million resets. It's kind of like PW4, except if like the values were just better. <laughs> Instead of V502, it was just billions of Heaven Strikers. We'll do a few more new mop up threes, I think. Thank you, Dango, for joining us. Hopefully, you get some rest. So everybody, we have a free slot if you'd like to hop in. We're just doing some episode four Heaven Striker runs. I wanted to try to farm a Lava Cannon while the bonuses were live, level the Retry up, but it's a cast that we can't split stuff himself. What do you mean by split stuff?
Are you referring to, like, slime red ID? Oh. What do you mean? They're good at splitting stuff, though. Yeah, we, we literally do that on the stream, like, almost every day. Yeah, do three shots and then fire trap spam until there's four, and then hit their spawn point and kill them. They're actually the fast at splitting slimes. Like, legit. I don't mind doing Red ID Lava's Cannon runs later on a TTF. But yeah, they're they're super good at it. Yeah, no no other character comes even close. Is anybody else hopping in for episode four? I think we'll probably do like two or three more runs of this, and then we might do. Uh, we could do Red ID TTF. Yeah, that, that just comes with, yeah, just do three normal attacks because it's the fastest and then just fire traps and don't press another button. I'll give chat another 30 seconds and I will proceed. I'm just going to double check out everything I need. You know what? Let's put away some of these escape dolls. I really don't need this many. The quest constantly gives them to me. So if Chad is wondering how to get scape dolls, uh, doing this as a forest results in you having like nearly infinite. So you can see roughly how many times I've done this kind of quest. A few times. You have a three seals in here. <laughs> a blue merge. Yeah. My my poor faux Newmans, they had like out of their slots, like 150 of them are escape dolls, and it's almost only from episode four. It's so sad. There's just too many. Meanwhile, I'll play like Hugh Cast, and it's like he's got ten. What's with all the lurking guys? Get in here. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, it's the final time I'm gonna stream, so if you want something? Today's the day. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the fact that page up, page down doesn't do a clean page. It causes you to miss items. I had that happen to me pretty much on a weekly basis. Poor remote battery. No worries in parameter. Do what makes sense for you. Yeah, I got Fire Scepter to be more efficient here. They're typing as I'm getting murdered. I'm like, I'm dying. This character can't face tag. If she was a phone human, I would be fine, but no, she takes like 300 to hit. I will actually die in like four seconds. It's so sad. We're going to debuff here. I'm going to say remote battery on its on a tight time limit and they finish their homework before I'm done with the stream. I'm surprised Tiki w didn't want to hop in for some Heaven Strikers. <clears throat> but oh well. Tiki will probably come in for TTF if I had to guess. Either that or I look in the mirror and I say, purple caves, purple caves, purple caves, to get Tiki to appear. <laughs> See? See, it worked. Chat, that's proof. Oh, welcome, Tiki. Got she, 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 Yeah, that's from completing the quest minus X. That's not random. 
That, that's you not reading the, the quest reward dialogue. You called yourself out on that one. Oh, let me do this. Speaking of purple caves. Yeah, we're just doing some Heaven Striker runs, Tiggy. We'll probably do two more, and then I could humor you, Tiggy, with the purple caves. <laughs> I don't read quest rewards either. Just speed read, then you can read it. <laughs> let it load a frame, and then just let it go through. Slow casting got me hit there. That's so sad. Just... Okay, there we go. Do this. So let it be known, chat. I officially could not get a single dwarf on Declare to spawn. That, that's about that's about on par with me. I think four years ago, I couldn't get a single Pazuzu to drop a single rare. Uh, and then I think two events prior, I tried really hard on the Christmas event to get a limiter. And I did the Christmas fiasco for two straight weeks on Viridian and went from like level 140 to level like 189 or something like that. And I didn't get a single limiter. I was so mad. I was like, what a waste of time. That quest is so long. Like, damn. Unfortunate. Unlucky is, uh... Ultra accurate. Also, I think Promethean's trying to kill himself out there. There we go. Saved uh, minus X from the burns. I'm confused by the Twin Blaze usage. Does it have like really good stats or it should just strictly be worse than uh your soul? What are these? Right, this is where it gets annoying because these things are here. <laughs> Laziness, maybe. I mean, like, it makes sense why you'd have one. But I, I can tell you from a fact, as you cast, Gear Soul is just straight up better. You'd have to have some crazy percents on the other one. Yeah, that's why I was kind of hoping to get a Gear Soul while we're playing uh, Yellow ID. But uh, alas, it did not happen. Ooh, another Photon Crystal. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll have a stream just to see how bad my luck is and how long it takes for me to get a Master Raven. Uh, spoilers, I think I'm on crystal number 22 without seeing one. I unfortunately don't have my notes of how many I did last time. I, I can assure you I have not received one ever. <laughs> other, than, other than back in 20... 17 or 18? Question mark. There's a Grand's Technique I arguably want to go pick up, but I'll probably avoid it. Easy to get something from bank. There. Oh, I'm still gonna take the damage. Whoa! I need to start with Jelen as this character. As Phone Newman, I don't, but as her, I actually do, because this is ridiculous. Like, she, she, keep in mind, I have a Centurion on, I'm getting damaged that heavily. It's actually just bonkers how much she takes. Rip. Stats bad. I don't know why I didn't gel in. I probably should have died to Grom Detonator there.
Yeah, we'll do like 99 bronze gambles. See if we see if we manage to get a rare item during it, and then uh I'll hold on to the rest of the bronze stacks. I feel like burning 99 in crate in that is probably fine. Oh yeah, that reminds me, chat. There <laughs> Oakley brought up the leaderboards the other day. I was surprised I was actually on a leaderboard. That actually blew my mind. I was like, wait a minute, I have so many different characters. How am I on a leaderboard? I mean, chat sees. I'm not even a character more than like an like what an hour and a half at a time, and I rotate out. But apparently, it was from my uh, three seals day on the pink ID force. I was kind of laughing about it because I was like, I know exactly what I was going for with her, because she was my three seals gambler for a while. So I think I'm in the, I'm almost in the top ten on both uh, successful gambles as well as. Uh, Failed attempts. No, I need them off of me. Leave me alone. Help me. <laughs> I'm tired of getting bullied. They knock me down, and that loses so much time in the run. It's so sad. Like, please go away. Yeah, this is the Grants 25. I thought I almost thought it was 28, but I'm like, no. Alright, debuff into debuff. Please don't burn me to death in this room. <laughs> this one is special. Okay. Back to Gafoe stacks. Next room, I'll switch back to Rifoe. Compounded signs from Blue Donna. Seems accurate. I think chat likes that. Just adding that in there. Oh my gosh, just let me debuff and stop hitting me. Thank you. Holy. Oh, uh, I need help. Please get them off me, team. I don't care if you have to shotgun or do something. Please don't let them hit me. There we go. Nope. Mission failed. GG. Oh, I meant to ask in Parameter, how was the uh, Fire Emblem stuff going? Ooh, that should have definitely hit me. Take that though. Oh, look at how much damage that does. This character, please. She needs so much more base defense. I look forward to every level up with this character chat. You have no idea. She's double ad adapting a century and she's barely 350. I'm gonna be so sad when she doesn't cap. Okay, Rifoe can stop the zoo. Spam this for a little bit. Team. Frame perfect cast here, we do help stun lock pretty significantly. We 
playing a lot of Doom. Nice. Listen, chat. We're just gonna aim in the corner. We're just gonna assume we're gonna hit him. I don't think that was from a satellite wizard, but I could have been. I got PD'd. Unfortunate. Alright, Rappies, I don't feel like dealing with you. My buffs. Attempt to survive this room. Whoa, the full screen teleports. Alright, we're gonna do what we can to stomach here. Debuff time, heal the room. Straight up getting bullied. We'll need people near me to deal with the Grand Detonators. Maybe like a little diamond formation roughly in the center of the room. Definitely buffing. On the plus side, I got Mag Blast. I didn't dare you just go for it. Timer. Interesting. Oh well, at least we could say we tried getting more Heaven Striker. We've done a lot of green ID Heaven Striker. Now doing red ID, but so far no luck. Unfortunate. Look out, chat. She can almost use Red Ring. Wait. Was I looking at our accuracy correctly there? One second. We're, we're, we're gonna do a fact check real quick. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna... I, I am now curious. I'm looking it up right now. My apologies for not spellcasting. I thought so. So she's only- oh, also I got a 13 randomly. That's funny. I was just talking about how I needed more of those. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. See chat, and this is why you check boxes. But anyway, aside from that, I was looking at her accuracy. She's only five points off of the Hue cast. That's kind of funny. There you go, Dango. We showed you- we showed you how we secretly get 13s. It's called, don't bother hunting for it and just randomly stumble across it in box runs. <laughs> if it's not your focus, you'll just get it for no reason. Yeah, only five accuracy away from Hugh That's kind of funny. Literally 90% of the hunts for me, oof. See, th see, that's my dream, is when I get Demon Mech Gun. Like, sure, I'm going to use it on Ramar eventually. Don't get me wrong, that's who it should probably belong on. But I, I just want to have a day where she just whips out the Demon Mechs and is like, hold on, I'm ready to participate in Episode 2 now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> like, what are you going to do in Episode 2? You're a force. Just goes guns. Lots of guns. And just the trench coat opens. Okay. 
I was about to say, now I definitely hear the Mission Impossible. Unambiguously. I'm actually bullying with Foe. Huh? I mismenued. Which reminds me, why is this not working? What? Hold on, what happened to my controls? Hold on. What, what, what? Where is this control? What button is this? Hold on. What? But that doesn't do anything. What? Oh, it undid my controls again. Where is the normal one? I'm so lost. <laughs> Hold on, this is actually important. How do I how do I do the menu with this? It's, it's not this. Does she not have it set up or something weird? Maybe she doesn't have it set up in like the in the character thing. I went to quick menu, but it didn't do anything. And I pressed like the three that I normally do. But as I said before, it like undid my settings. So I had it for like two months and then I set it back when I switched computers. And then I turned the computer off at some point and then at some point I lost those controls. And I added them back in like a month ago, right at the start of the event. But remember that trolling Windows update? I finally did it, and then it got rid of my controls again. So I'm like, I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'll have to go fix that later. I will figure out what it thinks my equipment menu button is, and then fix it. Looking at it, I pressed the button and it did nothing. So I don't know what it was supposed to be. Yeah, I was like, generally confused. Like, unless it was supposed to be this. Oh, oh it's supposed to be that? Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's definitely the old one that I already switched out of a month ago. Yeah, we timed out. Rip. It's the downside playing. I was messing around a little bit. My bad. Welcome, Dev G. Hope you're doing well. I was going to say, Tiggy, you up for some runs? Seeing what people are. Oh. Might do one more episode for. I'm thinking about switching into TTF though. See who's available. Diggy. Love the items in the corner. Oh, that's so sensitive. No, no, no. Big sensitivity. Way higher. More dead zone. That's a little... That's a little too... Five percent might be twenty percent was too low. Feels about right. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. We're just getting trolled in a uh, PSO. What's Luminous Field turn into again? I don't think anything, Tiggy. It's the end result of a frame. Normally, you just kind of have it for the uh, aesthetics. Maybe you're thinking, uh, I mean, there, brightness circle is usually the one. Maybe you're thinking of the end result of brightness circle, which has higher EDK. But people usually hunt it ra rather than create it. Yeah, I mean, you might be able to sell it as an aesthetic. Hopefully you're doing well, uh, DevG. If you want to talk about anything, by all means. <laughs> the topics are whatever you feel like. I will respond to you. Like, listen, we can, we can multitask. Hmm. Well, and again, as a reminder for people that might have come in late, we did put up in the Discord a voting thing. 
So if you are looking for something in particular for next week, we'll be moving off of PSO starting next week. Anyone see the football upsets today? I'm going to be honest with you, Promethean. I, I couldn't even hazard a guess as to who's playing. I, I think I would actually fail. I, I don't think there's a way I would guess it. My football knowledge is in the negatives. I think I know some teams. Got to be an A-hole when I hunt it. I'm good too, thanks for asking, nice. Let us know what you're up to, G. any games you're playing, anything you'd recommend. I don't know if we'll go back to the chat rec recommend games, because that was, uh... <laughs> you can thank Steve for that. I, I played Castlevania 64 and I was like, ooh, <laughs> that was the recommended game. I was just like, I I don't know how much I want to do with those. I guess the closest we came to another chat recommended game was Phoenix Wright. A couple people had been asking if I would ever voice Phoenix Wright. So we played through those. Technically, there's more Phoenix Wright to be had. Although I guess before we go into those, if we end up doing Ghost Trick, it at least makes sense. I'm on the fence whether I want to get the Steam version of the game or just uh, do my own version. Reason being is I don't really like third party stuff, and it's like how much time do I want to spend scrubbing it when I'm done? Playing through Rage 2 grabbed on sale for like 10 bucks. Nice, nice. You know what? I'll pop those boxes. I got nothing better to do. Those Rappies destroyed me, chat. True story. Leave me alone. Cool. Deep up, deep up. They caught Mario. I actually know what that is, surprisingly. I'm not good at platformers, though. Let alone uh, troll platformers. <laughs> Which I do kind of feel Castlevania 4 or 64 was a troll platformer. You can't tell me otherwise. Somebody seriously sat there and did that uh, nitroglycerin run. They were they were hard trolling. Like, yep, this is what audiences want. Oh, straight to death. I haven't played first person shooters in a long time. I just know that I'm not good at them on the PC. I'm okay at them on console. I'm not good at them on PC. I'm just not used to like mouse and keyboard games at all. I didn't really grow up with them. Slay the Spire or Darkest Dungeon? Slay the Spire is okay. I think my issue with that is just I never... I don't know if the word is never got lucky or I just never found the right cards to go really far in it. Like, we did, like, I think an Ascension 1 or 2, but... This kind of went okay after a while. You still cringe at the existing customer. Some people like it. I I'm not one of them. I understand there... I, I was, like, slowly starting to understand the physics after, like, 10 hours of... No, like eight hours of force gameplay, but calling it enjoyable was a uh, very big sp stretch. But I'm not a fan of platformers. On PS4 controller all day, baby. Nice. Yeah, I think the last console I got was technically Switch, but before that it was PS3. Switch was definitely a regret purchase. I want all of you to know. I was thinking it'd be like a really fun party game stuff, and it's just like most people just don't. People I know don't play anything on it, where they're like not really co-op local stuff. I'm like, well, about Donkey Kong 64. I don't think I've ever played it. Oh yeah, Dango. We went. <laughs> I went on a long tangent about Castlevania 64. I was not a fan. I was surprised Jupiter liked it as much as he did. But I couldn't tell if he was referring to the uh, expansion where they fixed the camera or not. But we'll probably give Dawn of Sorrow at some point a chance. It's not a very long game. So I'll probably fit it in at the tail end, even if it doesn't get a lot of votes. Just because it's like, what, two or three sessions to clear? Not even. Because we're doing it from a casual standpoint, so it's not going to be done in a session. At least not in like a three hour session. 
Summer Cruise is the best. I think he's fun in Aria. Dawn, I'm like... Camera Man is definitely true fun of boss. We like the DS ones a lot. Well, I would recommend voting for them in the Discord. We're gonna be playing through in order. I'm not skipping ahead to like Portrait or whatever. Which I probably know better than uh, Dawn. My streaming on YouTube as well. You know what? When I initially started, that wasn't a thing. I don't know. Do people think I should try doing that? I just don't know if that scene is like disrespectful to the Twitch audience or whatever. I I haven't really put much thought into it. And I guess in theory I could do a poll on my VOD channel to see if people would do it. If there's like enough people that would want to do it, and I don't mean like one or two, it would have to be like 15 or so. If enough people were doing that, I wouldn't mind dual streaming. I don't remember what restrictions there are on YouTube chat. I would have to research that. Like, I could probably still talk to YouTube chat. I just don't know if I'm allowed to display YouTube chat. Yeah. I, I have to double check what the thing is. Shower stream on YouTube? I don't think so. I did that first. I just talked about why I shouldn't do that, and then I did it anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, remote battery, because I think people do it, but you're not supposed to, technically. That's one of those things I have to review the contract you have to sign. Because they have amended it, so I, I don't remember what their last policy is. I know they got rid of the, you can't do it within, like, X days, you can't upload on YouTube. Because that, when I started, that's what it was. But it, like, as of, I think, two years ago, they got removed from the uh, contract to be more open. I do have a backup channel for, like, if I wanted to do streaming. Or potentially do clips for Ziggy Pixter. But I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It sits there. Oh, you were, but you were just responding to earlier chat. No worries, FG. It's fine. I mean, if people want to watch on YouTube, I don't really care. I think you were literally the first person to ask. Ever. I don't think anybody else has asked me at any point. But I, I, could, be, I could be corrected, I suppose. I have been asked about YouTube chat, but not if I did YouTube chat. There is a small difference. Um, let's do this. Ouch, I took a million damage. That was my gold star, uh oh. Oh yeah, speaking of which chat, something I've been holding off on because I just don't have any ideas. But. Uh, if you have any recommendations for subscriber badge icons, I can probably commission something this year. I meant to do that last year, and I just honestly totally forgot to make that like a poll to figure out what chat wanted. This came to me again today. I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. Uh, bu -bu 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 subscription badge. Big eating a cookie. Oh no, the cookie the cookie lore runs deep. Yeah, I thought about if it was worth commissioning my own set of emotes. I think chat mostly likes the ones that I added. A white star overlaid on a purple star. Big dress is Batman eating a cookie. Is it just going to be all cookie related? <laughs> just inverse the, the subscription star is nice. What's my favorite game series IP? 
that's a hard question for me to answer. I think there's a couple of good ones that pop up, like, off the top. Kid says Cookie Trust is a pig. That makes no sense. Um... Uh... I would say favorite and kind of obscure game as the first part to that question is probably Kessen 2, followed very closely by Shadow Hearts 2. Series, that one's a little rough. There's a lot of ones where I feel like the entries are hit and miss. That's so like, I don't want to say the like, common one. Like, I like Onimusha Dawn of Dreams, for example, but I didn't really like some of the other Onimushas. I like Sengoku Basara, but I didn't like the early ones. Hmm. I have to think about series. I guess... Maybe I'd say East for series? I think that's been the most consistent. Let me do both here. I like four and none of the others. For which one? Onimusha? There's several games that could apply to. I also said Sengoku, which is true. Yeah. I don't know. I just I just like Dawn of Dreams more. I wasn't a big fan of like Onimusha. Like I don't I don't want to do the time travel one, like three. I thought one was okay, but I, I didn't really get into it. Yeah, like four, like Dawn of Dreams had like everything I wanted in Onimusha. I don't know if it had like quote unquote the best story or whatever, but it was like, I liked the music. Combat was a lot of fun. Oh, up. Co-op raises that, like, through the roof. I'm like, I there's not really another one where you co-op. It's, it's that easy. <laughs> it's one of my favorite co-op games of all time. Although, why you had to put in that stupid button sequence, I have no idea. I still talk to people that have played the game, and they're like, wait, there's co-op? And I'm like, yep. It's my favorite co-op game on the PlayStation 2. No contest. There, there's not even, like, a second place contender. It's, it's on its own tier. One of the few games I've played, like, start to finish, over and over. Hey, Tiki got a Heaven Striker. See? See, WG? See what I mean? That game's co-op was phenomenal. It, like, honestly, I'm so sad that it's, like, locked behind a dumb code. It It is, like, one of the most fun things I have ever, ever done. We did it on stream co-op. I taught somebody how to play the game live. And we did, uh, we, we did, like, absolute nonsense. I was like, witness the BS of, like, somebody playing Ohatsu Soki, or, like, Ohatsu Tenkai in the 100-man trial. I'm like, that is, like, the most fun I've ever had. Yeah, I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> and the best part, too, is, think of it this way, if you play as, uh... Now I'm gonna blank on names. Uh, Yagyu Girl, whatever her name was. And you slow mo everything. It slow mo's for your teammate as well. Uh, Roberto was the brawler. I was not a fan of Roberto. <laughs> I figured out like one infinite with him, but I was like, man, you put in all this work, and then I'm like, or I could just play Tenkai. <laughs> just like Ten Tenkai was the most top tier character of all time. You can't tell me otherwise. What a cheap character. What an actually broken character, start to finish. Damn right, Tenkai was your main. He was the best character. No contest. He had infinites out the butt. Every everything comboed. What a god. There, there's a reason they don't let you use him most of the game. <laughs> like, why would I ever play that? Why would I play as Sokyu when he plays Tenkai? Like, why, why would I do that? What a waste of time. I'm like, hold on, let me do what I call the the uh, the hula hoop. We're gonna hula hoop into aerial stab into hula hoop. I just watch it infinite everything in the game. I'm like, hell yeah, hula hoop time. Tell him how. How low can you go? Hell yeah. Hula hoop time is real. Yeah, we had a couple clips on stream of me performing at infinite. I, I legitimately linked, I think, like 95 hits on a target. It was like, it's over. The infinite is real. Uh, 
Yeah, we, we played we played the hundred man trial solo, then in co-op, so we we had a good mixture, make it a little less boring going for the full clear. Uh, and we did uh we did a couple things where we did like blind crits. I think we I think we recorded it on stream. Like literally while the enemy was spawning, I did crit without any in in info on when they're doing the attack. I felt in my heart <laughs> I was going to get hit, so I just crit them. Not even a deflect. I was like, damn. Say if you if you look back, it was like last year, I think. It wasn't that long ago. We did some sick stuff. And then uh I I did Roberto a little bit of justice. I'm not gonna say I'm like great at him, but I, I did go on like uh I think I chained three or four crits in a row with him. And I'm like, I I'm not topping this. <laughs> I'm just like, he was just he we hit peak Roberto gameplay. I'm like, listen, I did the I did his infinite once. We we got the quadruple crit, that's all I could do. Jube, Jube was her name. I knew it would come to me eventually. Ohatsu with the gun where she can fire it into the ground and it heat seeks and launches like fireworks. That is also one of the dumbest co-op support moves in the game. Also, if you love trolling your friends, Ohatsu's rabbit kick can be used to kick people out of deflect. So if somebody's trying to do a deflect chain, you can just rabbit kick them out and confuse the game horribly. And you just watch like Soki do like a crazy dash full screen, slide into a wall and not do anything for like six seconds. Yeah, I like the idea of Roberto, but I did not like the combos of Roberto. We we slowly got used to him, but it, it was rough. I feel like he had a skill floor, but I don't I don't think his skill ceiling touched Tenkai's uh, potential. I was like, if I'm gonna spend time on a character, it's gonna be Tenkai. I also thought it was really messed up for Roberto that you're like, you know what, you know what his final boss is gonna be. He's gonna fight a flying creature, because you know, that's totally what he can fight easily. That, that was kind of unfair. Oh man. Actually, I don't remember if on stream I got the crits on uh, Tenkai's boss. There's a really dumb setup you can do involving uh, Tenkai's uh, hula hoop. So like every time you, you press square and mash it, even though you're in the hula hoop animation, it can actually trigger crits still for no reason. So you could literally just hula hoop on the giant centipede boss on his final fight, and there is a very high chance that if you just mash, you'll end up uh, critting. I don't remember if we got that on stream though. It, it has happened so many times. It's like it's very sad. Like I think in five playthroughs, I did it four times. Like there's no timing. I literally just mash as hard as I can. Let's get the crit. And because he's not doing like an attack animation, it'll check I think every press. So he he had some really stupid tech just let, let me be clear. He he was the he was not a fair character. Other characters, you gotta play legit Tenkai? Nah. You're like, you're in Tenkai's world now. Cool. We'll chip out as much as we can here. We only got a minute left in the quest. We'll probably switch over to TTF. Yeah, I tried doing, what was it, the nightmare mode of that game, where everything kills you pretty quickly. And I actually got really far in it until I got to Ohatsu. Ohatsu just straight up bodied me. Maybe one day I'll return to it and understand how to do the, uh... Do that boss fight. So they upgraded her, so like every attack guard breaks, and she shoots three bullets, but it only takes two to kill you. So she'll guard break, and it automatically hits you twice and you die. That, that's how that boss fight goes. It was, uh, not fun. I don't know what it wanted you to do specifically. I never figured it out, so I just gave up. Pretty sure Seltzer only wished to depart for the evil Yagyu dude in 4. I think so. Budushige had some interesting exploits he discovered on there. And then the other one, that whatever the name of the boss was in the mirror world, that boss also had, like, the easiest crits in the game. I don't know why... His attacks can trigger crits, but like they were they were just so much easier than everything else in the game. I kind of felt bad for him. Like the the window and activation range you need to be near to activate it is just so hilariously generous. I'm like, oh, is he in front of me by like three character lengths? Yep, that's still crit for some reason. 
Question mark, question mark, question mark. Alright, so I'm assuming we're going to switch over to uh, TTF. So... I guess I'll bring in... Question mark. I'm assuming Tiggy will be the giant murder bot. I'm assuming Promethean will be Ramar. I guess I could bring in a... Forts? Can we just put some stuff away? And I'll, I'll set up the game. It's not against the main character if they just steal no remorse. Yeah. I didn't like fully master that game even though I did play it a lot. But I had a lot of fun with it. I know there were like... You could purposely not finish... Jubei's combo to manipulate Munushige to not counter, and that would confuse the game. So he he had some attack reset exploits. He also had a couple juggles, which was nice. Via uh, on stream to challenge myself since I'd played the game too many times. We did a challenge where we did not upgrade armor at all at any point in the game or upgrade any weapons, and we beat the game. <laughs> Just to give an idea, DevG. That that's how confident I was that I would beat the game. I'm like, listen, we're we're not even gonna bother using a red soul the entirety of the game. We're gonna go beat it. If you're curious, the 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 super floating in the sky boss where you're shooting lasers and going in your super form, the boss hit me I think for nine tenths of my health. <laughs> like this is going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> I think this is the first time this boss will ever be difficult. What silliness. Uh, I'm gonna go host. Chat being weird. Or not chat, but... ESO lobby being weird. Uh, let me go grab Excal. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite IP. I don't know. I have to think about that a bit more. Again, there's just a lot of series where they just have like a, a really bad game and it's like hard to think about it. I think this is the only rule against simulcast. You can wear chats and qualities to be at least on par with the other. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna read up on it. Trust me. I, I I'm not gonna take any like he said she said for it. I, I want to be very clear what I can and cannot do. I'd like to play through the series that I in the remaster first lady motion PS4 is such a tease. You know what? I never ended up playing the remaster devg. I we might play it next year. I do have it. It's on Steam. Is anybody wanting to hop in for Viridian ID TTR? I guarantee you will be the freest carry of your life. We have three level 200s. <laughs> Just like, like trust me, we, we don't care what your gear is. If you would like the world's freest experience, please join us. We'll give chat about 40 seconds to respond. Yeah, I would say from the standpoint, I think Kessa 2 might be my favorite PS2 game of all time. There we go, Minus X is coming. That game was not only one of the few RTSs I ever liked, but it was the only console RTS I ever liked. So it, it hits all the categories. That game had like the most wild and outrageous cutscenes of all time. I loved it. It was, it was so cheesy. Just like, yes, please. I I really like that idea, and I'm really sad no other game has really done it. But to, to summarize it, DevG, imagine, like, you're controlling units, right? Not too different from RTS. But what if you could zoom in on your unit, take control of your general, and then just cast, like, a giant fireball on the enemy, and you aim it on the map and blow them up? 
I'm like, this is the best. <laughs> like this, I'm like, this is how you get me interested in RTSs. I'm like, wait a minute, I get to aim this giant death ray? Absolutely. Count me in. That game was so fun. Also, let me debuff for the team. Oh, that moment where I gotta go back for a badge. That's so awkward. Happy New RHS with StarCraft 64 to Civ 6. I don't think I played Civ 6. I think I played up to Civ 5. I used to play, uh... I will still say my favorite uh, RTS moment of all time was Civ 2 on PlayStation 1, I think. Rip Crystal 6 for trying to send links. I'm assuming you're a bot because you didn't say anything else before doing the links. But hilariously, in Civ 2, the, the civilization spawning in that game was so whack that I completely conquered the world except for one nation, and I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them, and I was very confused. Like, it was to the point where I even had, like, the satellite showing me where every civilization was, and I still could not find them. And I'm like, where are they? I don't understand. And then I looked at the map again, and there's exactly one city surrounded by, I kid you not, like 25 swamp piles, and they built it in the middle of the swamp. And when I went there with my tanks and my nukes and my space race gear, they demanded the alphabet from me, or they would declare war on me. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was that was my favorite moment of all time. <laughs> like, like that brave stone axe wielding warrior challenged my tank for the alphabet. He, he just wanted to learn, chat. <laughs> and if you're wondering, yes, he did <laughs> he did actually defeat my tank. <laughs> Civ, Civ 2 is a wacky world. I don't I don't know why I lost the 1v1 against him. But but don't worry. I, I I ended that game in every possible way. My favorite was uh he sent a cherry out chariot out to try to race the nuclear weapon aimed at his capital. I thought that was cute. I was like I was like good attempt. <laughs> then I won space race and then I just won the adorable conquering. Yeah, that, that game was special. I actually really missed that game. Not for, like, the gameplay in particular, but I missed the little FMVs. They were very cheesy. Like, you had the war console, like, literally stabbing other members of the console or threatening to. Assuming chat will help me dupe here. There's no reason to not dupe. Uh-oh. Wait, Tiki's staying behind. Tiki should be duping. We're gonna wave our finger at Tiggy. We're gonna teach you the slime dupe, Tiggy. Also, I need a teleplay. Oh, is team not sending anything? There we go. Well, I thought you already moved, because I, I didn't see you right away, because I saw other people moving in. That's okay. Alright, let me use Glide Divine. Yeah, Civ 2 was uh, its own beast. Hmm, I have to reapply buffs on Tiggy, I missed him. That's okay, I got time. <clears throat> buff here, buff here. Do 
little fireball, do another fireball. Hold bottom right, end up near the exit, check if money is there. Nope. Alright, this one's for Tiggy, I'm gonna Zalore them. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I'm just forgetting about like a series I really enjoy. Like, I like Shadow Hearts 1 and 2. I like 2 a little more than 1. Metal Gear is very hit or miss for me. Final Fantasy is extremely hit or miss with me. Dragon Warrior is mostly miss for me. Like, a couple I'll play, but not that often. Wild Arms. Uh, that, that so far was a big miss. Wild Arms 1 was fine. Wild Arms 2 was... Ooh. That was a game. Zelda. I think that's also really hit or miss for me. I don't like the 3D ones. I like most of the 2D ones, except for when they have Toon Link. Then, then I think they're disgusting. Get out of here. I definitely don't ever want to touch Phantom Hourglass again, for example. Confounded Silence. Oh, no. oh, I hated Zelda 2. No way. Definitely not Zelda 2. I thought you more meant, like, Link's Awakening or, like, maybe Zelda 1. Did not like Minish Cap. Anything where it's kind of Toon Linky. I just, I don't like it. Yeah, I definitely did not like Wind Waker. Uh... Go for the setup, I guess. <laughs> I I think the problem can be summarized why I don't like the game as as follows. Cha ya ya cha for like eight hours. Just, it drives me wild, chat. I'm just like, please don't. I beg of you. Oh, I tried getting him on the second monitor. Damn. I want him on this monitor. Oh, that works. Yeah, I, I gotta practice it. See, the problem is I'm actually too fast with the menuing. I actually need to slow down. This is so sad. Like, I have to do it, like, super slow. I need to remind myself I'm not doing fighting game inputs, so the game actually physically can't keep up with my cast. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm just physically doing it too quickly. Like, I'm canceling the menu because I'm, I'm doing the menu before it casts. I was not a fan of Ocarina of Time. I did this before. I didn't, I didn't really like the 3D. But Dark Souls? No, I'm not in Dark Souls. Yeah, I just never felt nostalgic for them. Like, I played through them, but, like, I just never... I don't think I even beat a single 3D Zelda. I know I tried to give uh, Twilight Princess a try, but I made the mistake of getting the Wii version. That was a big mistake. I was like, oh, I should just be able to use it with the controller, because it's also compatible on GameCube, right? And then it was like, shake the Wiimote. I was like, oh, no. Hmm. Mistakes were made. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not happening. I'm just like, no, that was a mistake. I need to finish your Wild Arms series. Well, good luck. Wild Arms 2 was almost torture to me for the last eight sessions. <laughs> That's definitely a, mm. Wild Arms 1 was a lot of fun, but man, Wild Arms 2. Imagine somebody that doesn't really super enjoy puzzles and then like, <laughs> we did like 120 puzzles in eight videos. I'm just like, there's, there's too many puzzles. Yeah, I have no nostalgia for that game. I nostalgia for uh, GoldenEye. And I did not play that game the way it was intended. Like, at least 40% of my gameplay was just messing around on the airport level and just running people over with the tank. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was just that that was a majority of my gameplay. Just, just no doubt. I'm pretty sure that's where most of my time was spent. 
That's why I'm not big on Zelda. I just didn't like it at the time. I, I thought it was an ugly game, and I still think it's ugly. There were, there were no nostalgia goggles with that game. No, 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 no. Don't dismiss, like, the reasons I don't like the 3D Zelda have nothing to do with the puzzles. I don't like how the game feels. Or Navi. No, 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 no. You're drawing an improper conclusion from that. If you heard earlier, I like the Game Boy Zeldas. <laughs> Context clues. I, I like Link's Awakening for the most part, and uh, I might revisit the uh, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I was thinking about doing those at some point. I just don't like 3D navigation in general. So like anything that requires like a lot of platforming or it just feels like a lot of padding of walking to different places. See Wind Waker in particular with the constant boat travel. That kind of stuff turns me off real quick because I, I just check out. Because I'm like, oh, cool. The thing I have to go to is like two and a half minutes away. Yippee. <laughs> right? It's just like, I just don't... I don't know. I'm just not into that. I just want to go, go, go. Also, I guess I should protect Chubb. Yeah, and Wild Arms 2 was called Overabundance of Puzzles. As I said before, in eight videos, there were over 120 puzzles. That is just too many puzzles. It, it was to the point where it was just puzzle hallway, puzzle hallway, puzzle hallway, Puzzle hallway, puzzle hallway, puzzle hallway, and that just gets so tedious. Especially when you're at the end of the game and it's like you're trying to get to like the final boss and there's just like 32 puzzles between you and the boss. It's like, why? Why are there so many puzzles? Actually, madness. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, please spare me, I beg of you. Yeah, and Parameter, and Parameter hit the nail on the head with that one. With the absolutely ridiculous escape sequence that took 10-something minutes due to puzzles. Like, could you imagine if you were playing Super Metroid and they're like, Hey, you know, there's an escape sequence in five minutes, but why don't you just move these boxes around arbitrarily for, like, next six minutes and, uh... Just Play as like a five-man team to move crates. <laughs> just like, what? The, the pacing of the game was atrocious. Stuff like that. It's like, I don't mind having that kind of stuff. Me discussing what I don't like is fascinating. It's just like, I just value games that respect my time. I just don't feel like if I'm going through and I'm doing like tedious chores or like fetch quests in a game that they respect me as a player. I'm trying so hard to kill it with Foey chat. No, I tried. Excuse me, sir, move the friggin' box. Yeah. Like, how did that final boss... E like, how did... How did they even escape their own area? Actually, madness. Almost voted to death. Respecting player's time is one of the most important things for a game. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... Like, a really fun game to me is something that's just like... It could be all gas if you wanted to, start to finish. You just go through and it's nothing but, like, action highs. But if you want to take a little detour off the highway of progress, there's things for you to explore and do to suck you in. Like, that's how games should be done for the most part. And then other games are like, you know what's fun? Why, why don't we make you gather blue flowers in the middle of the canyon when you know the world is about to end? And if you think that's an exaggeration, uh, I'm sorry for you if you're planning to play East in the future. <laughs> <laughs> just like super total with all gas great game yeah <laughs> i was gonna say does chat know what i'm talking about with that you're like you're like oh no the evil forces are taking over the city and there's there's potentially some clones but if only we had somebody to gather blue flowers in a field and i'm like wait what <laughs> can't you send literally anybody other than these people <laughs> what's wrong with you that game was wacky there's just some things where you just really question the pacing. Like, there's a time in a play- like, okay, I'll give an example. 
Optional dungeons are allowed to have harder than usual puzzles or other unique mechanics that will take more time because you, you are not required to do it to complete the game. And it could be a challenge of like mental or physical skill, but you should not play a game as Simon says to beat the game. Does chat remember that on Wild Arms 2? When I got trolled by that, what was that? Like a 10, 10 command Simon says across like, it was like a three by three board of trying to figure out what the numbers were. That was actually horrendous. I remember that. That was just, I was like, why is this here? What did I do wrong? Profound sadness. Or like in context of the universe, they're like, they're like, look out, the giant space entity is coming forth and it'll birth a new god. We need to go there and destroy it. But first, what day comes after Thor's day? If only we could rearrange these panels in order of the days. Like, it just takes me out of the game so fast, you have no idea. <laughs> like, you can ask me to push blocks or like open passageways or like slingshot. I don't care about that. But, you know, tone some of those other puzzles down. I don't want to have puzzles for the sake of puzzles. Dev G says, uh, says, I love movement platforming puzzles. The game is there are those subgenres. Yeah, exactly. Like, I want to feel rewarded for being able to use tools or to do shortcuts. Sounds like you would hate Golden Sun. Oh, chat. We might do that. <laughs> we might give that game a shot as almost a joke. Somebody else was saying that I would probably hate it. Because I remember not completing that game. That had, a, that had a lot of, uh, I'll call them time wasters. Little Rolandi in the Universe is a hand if only it's a McDonald's. I mean, sadly, not that far off from some of the games we played on stream. If I played Cross Code, I don't know what that is. Oh, we got trolled in uh, Wild Arms 2, DevG. We were talking about that. And also, East. A. Whatever that one was called. It's not Lacrimosa of Donna, it's the one after that. Stupid blue flower fetch quest in the main plot. That should not have been in the game. <laughs> we'll we'll get our revenge on Rogue Galaxy though, chat. That that game will be like the absolute meme slash troll playthrough. And don't get me wrong, there are games that I think have elements of stuff that I don't like, but they become so uninto oh, Tiki died in the other room. Oops. He died somewhere. I'm confused. I'm unrevived. We'll reuse her for Tiggy, I guess. I figured it out eventually. It was like, wait, he teleported back already? We might play through uh, Rogue Galaxy again. That game was like... That game was a mental trip. It went from like a genuinely interesting RPG to like one of the most ridiculously unbalanced things you might have ever seen. That final boss was just actually unfair on so many levels, I can't even begin to describe it if you haven't seen it. I'll put it this way. That final boss had over 20 minutes of unskippable cutscenes, and I would get to the end of the game, and I got unblockable one shot by the boss, and I had to I had to play through every cutscene again. <laughs> it's like, like, why? Why did they do this? All I've seen was the game runs to somebody something blocks the current scummy and strategy goes had a lot of proof every time in the hand. Yeah. That game, that game, ha like, that is one of the first highlights I ever did on stream. It is, it become it starts as like a very genuine world building series game. And it seems so interesting. It is amazing voice actors. It's got Steve Bloom, for example, in it. So it's like, it's it's got like quality voice actors in the game, but then like the plot halfway through. I'm like, was there a writer strike? What happened? <laughs> so you'll see a lot of my older clips going into that. It was uh, something else for sure. Ray Fencer Masashi is really good. I, mm, maybe. I think I've seen that on the. Oh. Slime didn't get duped. Rip slime. No slime dupes. So sad. Unless it's a glitch and it just didn't appear. I think I'm. W oh, you know what? I you know what game I forgot to put on the Halloween list? 
I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry if uh, people... I mean, you can vote for more than one game, let me be clear. I forgot to put Alundra on the list for Halloween games. I just remembered what I forgot to put on. No worries, Tiggy. As long as it appeared on your screen, you're good. Legacy of Kane. Um... I remember somewhat liking it, but then I just got lost at some point and confused. Alundra is very annoying platforming and puzzles, but I like the atmosphere of the game. I'll get there eventually. Nice, 190. Yeah, Lundra is a really dark game. I like really dark content in general. I don't like like bubbly games for the most part. So for me, it hits all the all the dark stuff. <laughs> Just like I would want in a video game. Oh, it's been so long since I played Legacy of Kane. I might, I might go watch it again, see if I would potentially stream it. Honestly, I just don't remember enough about it. I think I recall, like, literally the intro of the game. And that and that's about it. Let's go to the bottom right. That's a couple fireballs. Good enough. HP material. I guess I'll pick it up. Yeah, we, we play games all over the place. Like, I, I like Valkyrie Profile 1. That game has puzzles in it. I didn't like the hard mode dungeons, because I felt like the hard mode dungeon puzzles were... a little much for casual players. Those, uh... were certainly some choices. I'm reminded of like the the Dawn of Sorrow move the rooms around puzzle in order to uh, make progress. Me not being a fan of that, and then it was like at least it's not the the Valkyrie Profile One Mansion. I'll take that over the Valkyrie Profile One Mansion, where you just go through a room and it rotates the entirety of the rooms automatically, so you have to think like literally 12 steps ahead. Like uh, and then also there's platforming things you have to dodge. Like oh boy, look at me. Run from Red Sido. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, unfortunate. I think I go back for the bronze badge. Fighting Chain is likely was best cliffhanger I've ever run by any other Ripper Netty Dog. Nice, nice. Not so nice about the cliffhanger, but nice that it was uh, good up till that point. me I did things I'm gonna try something different here I'm just gonna face the other monitor and see if I could do it with the other shortcut yeah the problem is like if, if you want to slow the, the first monitor down I don't care I just find it really annoying to do the setup in player one because I'm not facing the right way so it can lead to like weird timings. Ah. Oh. Unfortunate. Oh, just like slightly too slow. Right, there we go. I finally got one. Oh, don't hit me. I was hitting it. Whatever. Bad game. I actually stunned it for a moment. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I just need it slowed down as player one. I'm I am way too tired to do the stun lock normally. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> what's the weird desync stuff happens? Like sometimes it'll just go through or it'll skip monitors. This boss is just more annoying than it should be. 
Usually if I stun lock, I play like player two, because I could just I don't have to manipulate the camera and menu simultaneously. Whatever. Up some boxes. We'll do the we'll do the fast kill. We're living on the edge. There we go. We lived on the edge. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just using berserk stuff, lowering my HP is of course. I want that luck material though. I have no idea what hit him there. Where was that luck material? I will right, we'll assist the chat a little bit here. I'm assuming it's in the first room. Oh yeah, it is. I, I have to go back for it. There's no way. You, you don't give up luck material in this game. You will go out of your way to throw runs to go pick that stuff up. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if there was a series that I'd like pretty much start to finish. I guess... Aside from like one bad game, maybe East, otherwise Sweek It In as an IP, I guess I liked. I think there was only pretty much the spin-offs, which I don't know if I really want to count as like being some of my least favorite. But like the main series was mostly fun, aside from I think two. There you go. Blue Donna is excited to catch the live stream. Thank you, Blue Donna. Yeah, we quote, we have, uh, I guess to give DevG context, we played a spin-off game of Sweek It In, and we had one of the world's dumbest protagonists who would basically just repeat anything somebody said with a question mark. So sometimes he'll just mimic somebody's dialogue in chat if you're wondering why he said that. Otherwise, he has some of his classic predefined quotes like, Huh? What? And <laughs> followed by dumbfounded silence. You never know. That game was, uh... That, that game you could definitely just meme on, and we did after a while. That also had one of the worst plot twists in video games. Not like the worst one, but I, I would say it's... I think it's somewhere between top 10 and top 20. I think that's pretty safe to say. My favorite one is that everybody in the world was forgot how to build boats, and they kept referring to boats as bathtubs in that game because they didn't understand what boats were, despite living on a river. That was kind of special. I know. See, see, we have some great highlights, Deb G. <laughs> you, you could get lost <laughs> in those highlights. Special. We're sweeping in four with my favorite moment of all time of, wait a minute, this is a jail? <laughs> that one, that one is actually a classic. That one's funny both in and out of context. I don't care what anybody says. I think we had the voice clip, right? Forget it. Do I have the wait a minute? We'll get it. Uh-oh. You missing shots. What happened? Only saw 5k. That's super low. I hit the early Zalora too. There we go. Much better. Tip the boss out a little more. Oh, maybe it's this, actually. Is that not the command either? I'll have to check later. Hmm. I feel like we're not getting a lot of hits on the boss. I don't understand what's happening. I feel like that boss should have been like dead to rights. 
I don't understand why we're still fighting this boss. There we go. Hold on, chat. I'm looking up the voice clip. Maybe it's just jail. Maybe I should add other ones. this oh no red ring yeah soul seal is gonna happen but usually it dies before then i was gonna say minus x do you have a, a stronger weapon than bringer's rifle because that weapon is just kind of okay on the boss i'm now looking for it where is it that to murder oh yeah I saw somebody with it that's why I got confused huh why do I not see it in my store now I'm confused did I delete something by accident or is it just not loaded here Did I never add that voice clip? That feels impossible. Oh, we're we're adding this later today, Chad. I I thought we've had this voice clip forever. Maybe I just clipped it and didn't add it to the store. Yes, I didn't hear it when jail was used because I almost thought it was jail. I don't see it when I look at my list. Hmm. Day we learned. Because even when I search my store, it doesn't pop up. Interesting. I thought for sure that was on there. I was wondering why it hadn't been used in a while. Maybe I just remember setting it up and just never actually did it. Straight to jail, exactly. <laughs> we might have a tangent. Just <laughs> We might take a two-minute tangent to go watch that clip. That clip tracks me up. Hold on. Pause music time. That is a lot of sickle Ds. Hold on, Chad. I'm, I'm diving deep. <laughs> I will find this. We did a highlight of it, so I know I can find it. Just need two minutes. Why is this not taking me to the right page? Twitch, please. Stop, stop looping me in circles. Take me to my screen. I'm so lost. Why is it not taking me to the right page? Magic Kazam! Magic Kazam, indeed. Terra Enigma, get out of here. Oh, here it is. Uh, let's let's try to get it up on screen. Give me one second. We're going to enjoy the marvels of the stupidity of this. Then we'll go back to You're TTF. You're pretty much screwed. Browser. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Actually, no, I don't want that. One, uh, delete. Share window. There we go. We're 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 gonna full screen it. We're not gonna worry about sizing it properly. It's gonna be fun. Uh here we go. Then we'll go back to the reactions. I would very much appreciate that. I do not wish to soil my sword without Oh, it's too big. Hold on. This way. Okay, that's a little too big. I thought it at least sized it. Nope. <sighs> oh, OBS. Why do you think that's my default size? Let's see if we can get this to fit correctly. Better. I'm gonna back it up slightly since the beginning missed. I would very much appreciate that. 
I do not wish to soil my sword without cause. Please, this way. This game is pretty special. I'm not gonna lie. I might I might play it again just to get to this scene. We might have a wait a minute, this is a jail cutscene percentage. Wait a minute. This is a jail. <laughs> How did they not know? <laughs> what do you mean, wait a minute, this is a jail? Sorry. Please make yourselves at home in there for a while. <laughs> Sheesh. The residents of this island are all just so... Did you say something? Uh, nope. We're so stupid. Excellent work, Selma. We were the ones who took your precious medicine. Please, accept our deepest apologies. How are you going to make me take this seriously? Uh, we we yes. locked into a jail cell. It went just as planned. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're so stupid. Oh my gosh, it's breaking me. Oh no. <laughs> Chad, I can't see what the dialogue is. I'm crying too much. Wow, this might be one of the dumbest moments I think we've seen in a week, it's week in a history. Possibly all of the JRPGs we played. So let me get this let me get this straight. We knew we stole something from them. They they quote unquote want to talk while drawing a weapon at us. And then we walk into their jail cell. We don't even like we're not even threatened to go in. We're not coerced. We're not tricked. We just willingly walk into the jail cell. My gosh, we're so stupid. Oh, Hold on, chat. I need a moment. <laughs> they, I, that was Tales of Eternity at Levels of Stupid. Oh my gosh, chat. There we go. Anyway, back to the stream. <laughs> there we go. I know, that, that thing was just... <laughs> just I don't know. They're, they're, they're just dumb. I don't know what to say. That one's a classic. Back to Memento Mori. I mean, honestly, there there's some great moments in the RPGs. Eternia, Eternia was also one of those games where uh, the cutscenes broke me. Yeah, OBS decided that it was like, you know what, your screen size is like 3200 by something, right? Like, no. Anyway, let's proceed. What do you like two more? Yeah, the chat chat will occasionally quote some of the other Tales games and other games. I think uh, if Chris was here, he'd be quoting the Nine Years. There's somebody that sat on a a map and they couldn't figure out. Yeah, wait a minute, this is DTF exactly. There's somebody that couldn't figure out what coordinates were as allegedly an expert navigator for nine years. There are some great pop points. Or my other favorite one where they're like, I know I betrayed you, but and I'm like, words not to say to the king at your own execution scene. The game was special. <laughs> Imagine being blind and following the guy like he lets them do a what? I know, like there there's little moments where like they they'll try to gloss over it, but we try to catch them in video games. Like my other favorite one was um I play Zestaria ironically. I don't think it's a good game at all, but it has some of the most hilariously stupid moments in games. It, it, it transcends the so bad it's good for me. Maybe we'll go back and play that game again. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> no, no, not keep on keeping on. <laughs> oh no. See, that one requires context to be funny. But that, that, that line in context is one of the dumbest moments. That, that's easy top 10 dumbest moments on stream. The whole context for keep on keeping on. It would hurt your brain too much to explain without going through that game. I still think my favorite moment in that game is when we go to, big air quotes, investigate, and big air quotes, the Pope. They're like, wow, we should really look into this leader. He might be doing some nefarious things, but we shouldn't do anything to upset the social order. 
Within 20 minutes of that cutscene, you kill the Pope. <laughs> Just like, I'm like, what? Did I go through Berseria? Uh, I did a few times. We did a uh, regular run. We did New Game Plus. We did a Chaos Mode Only challenge. Might eventually go back to that. We have a lot of emotes from Berseria. I'm not sure if you saw them. Like, tons of emotes. Okay. Actually, it was surprisingly close to the warp that time. Oh, is this the sugar on, on fairy? Okay, yeah. See, but I did that before I saw him parameter. I heard the starting notes. I did it. I'm the victor. Berseria for me was probably one of my favorite Tales games. There's one I have more nostalgia for, and I totally get if people don't like it, which is Tales of Destiny. And that I totally get if people don't like it, but... Really, really fun. Okay, where's Tiki? Oh, Tiki's still in the other room. Operation Protect Tiggy. Run, Tiggy, run. I mean, I might as well kill these because I'm waiting anyway. I like JRPGs, but I think it kind of crosses the line where I don't like the traditional turn based ones for the most part anymore. So I'll still prefer ones that have like something going on on top of it. Or sucker for supernatural vampires and werewolves. Nice, nice. That game was a that game was a fun play on the characters. I I would highly recommend it. I think it's one of my favorite. I like the character arcs in it for the most part. I think there were like two that were like a little on the weaker end. But yeah, pretty enjoyable game start to finish. Probably one of the most unbalanced protagonists to be fair though. That character is actually just insanely good. So if you're somebody that only plays protag only, uh, she is easy top tier. But that game was also a lot of fun. That was probably like my third or fourth favorite co-op game of all time. Having people control all the characters is really good. I'll slide a character in Mortal Plot after they die in battle, they back up. Come back up. I don't think I've ever played Lost Odyssey. I, I think because I just didn't own Xbox. Legend of Dragoon. You know what? I think somebody wanted me to play that a while back. Oh, congratulations on that LNK. Hopefully, it is some hit percentage. How am I out of range? There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> really some oh there we go, photon draw. I'll slow him down. 20 AB, stop, oh, okay. Oh no, Tiggy's going back to Tiggy no. <laughs> Tiggy went back for the gold badge. Respect. I might as well clear the room since I'm here. There we go. Rebuff Tiggy. Hermit says I think it was one of the two. I think, uh... Why am I blanking on name? God's Child. Uh, 666 also recommended it. I think, uh, Try also wanted me to do it at some point. So maybe. It, it does seem like a very long game, though. I have some mixed feelings on it. Oops, dodge that. 
I think the closest I'll come to a game with like a stamina meter, similar to like a Dark Souls, probably gonna be Guji on three. Chat, I will never stop talking about that game. That was one of my favorite games of all time. No contest, one of my best Steam games. Oh, he lives an hour from you? I didn't know that. Interesting. Uh, it's not feeling the sunlock today. I wonder if there's like somewhere I can stand positionally to get to always get the monitor behind me. I just hate that I like I can't get the first one because I'm not looking at it, and then the second one it's easy to miss if it ends on the, if it goes to the third monitor it's usually pretty easy, but getting it on the second monitor is still annoying. Dinner dog, I was about to ask if you were close to dinner dog. If that makes sense. I'm gonna try to go slow. Be slow. That moment where it gets on, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, that actually. I actually wish you didn't do that. I thought you were gonna spread needle. Spread needle, I don't mind. Azuka doesn't help. There we go. <clears throat> Is that that actually caused me to miss the stun? Spread needle's fine though, because I'll, I'll just time it based off of spread needle. No worries. I dropped the first one. I did an okay recovery on the second. Yeah, we'll do one more TTF after this. Yeah, just use normals. I'll, I'll just pick it up. Like, as soon as you see me hitting it, you get a stub. That'll be my, uh, for the hand. We call it the handoff on stream. Do a little handoff. Canada boys represent. Nice, nice. Hmm. You know what? I feel like doing the dumb fast strat. Might as well as make up for time earlier. There we go. Like that little weaving. So clean. So fast. <laughs> Look at that. Ch Chad hasn't even gone into the room yet. I'm already leaving. <laughs> I'm like, bye. <laughs> All right, let's try to go for this. Too early. All right, we gotta learn the timing here for solo play. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. It's like I got, I got places to go. Rip soundtrack. <sighs> Didn't do enough to stun. So sad. Let's play supportive here. Debuff, debuff, GG. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. I don't think Viridian is anything too crazy anyway. <clears throat> I just do that while I'm waiting. I got nothing better to do. See some by Mark Klein. That's nice. Hmm. Now I'm thinking really hard. I'm like, am I forgetting a game series? There's a there's a few one-off games I really like that are like RPG based. Like for example, there there are turn based turn based games I like, but they have to add like a little extra. Like I think a good example is like Radiant Historia, or the combat has to be. So super fast like Chrono Trigger. I feel like if we start getting into like the really grindy, you know, 10, 15 minute battles, I'm like, uh, I haven't played Bravely Default, no comment. Kind of like one of those things where it's got to have like another layer. So instead of just having turns, you're manipulating literally your turn order, you're manipulating the enemy position on a grid. It has like that extra layer. 
So it's like, I, I need a little something other than like classic Final Fantasy 1, hit fight repeatedly, spam potions in between. I'm like, that, that era of gaming for me is over. I have no interest in returning. Dodge my buff by walking away from me. Ooh, that could have been much worse. Get him on the Zalor here, I think. Or not. Hello, Zalor? Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I doubled your range for a reason. You better reach. <laughs> oh, I'll take this for sure. Healing time. There you go, I'm cheating. I moved during the cutscene. Don't tell anybody. The team's at full health now, it's all fair. There we go. They see, now I know somebody hit their shot. <laughs> Do you see what I said before? I was like, how is that boss still at 15,000? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There we go. <laughs> See, I could call the team out. <laughs> they could call me out for missing a stun lock, but I could call team out on that. I've done enough TTF. I'm like, no, no, no. Our team should be putting them sub 10k. There we go. That's what we need to do. GG. See, I'm pointing. I'm like, I Zalore that, then it explodes. Yeah, Glide, Div Glide Divine is like actually so good in this quest, just so I could get the early Zalore. Legitimately, it's a difference between doing like seven to like maybe 8.5 thousand on ally units to like literally double damage i don't think i've ever played control though going back to what dev g is saying there i don't know what i couldn't even tell you what kind of game it is we play some beat-em-ups on stream we do like other things like that i tend to play more action rpgs than like standard but i feel lately there's been a lot of requests for turn base so we've been doing some of those so we'll play one more. Smash that confirm. What about Shin Megami Tensai series? Um, I'm gonna go overrated. I see why people like them, but I don't. I don't think they really compete with some of the stronger RPGs. I think it's more apt to call them, like, adult Pokemon. I don't think that side of the game is necessarily a downside. It's more like... I'm not big into games where they have, like, that heavy high school focus. It just doesn't interest me in general. Like, I, I played up to four, and then I beat the Minotaur out of spite, and then I stopped playing. <laughs> like that that was my journey with it. I played some of the spin-offs. I played uh Devil Survivor 1 and 2 and I beat those. Cuz I think they added that other layer that I was talking about before where I needed something other than turn based. So like I like the kind of tactics grid thing where monsters provided different passes. It gave me a reason to try other characters. I, I like that side of the game. I didn't necessarily like the... You know, the whole concept of the good evil neutral endings. I thought a lot of the neutral endings were really, really tight. Or, like, ridiculously unforgiving about stuff that you wouldn't know about unless you play again more than once. I was not a fan of. I'm doing my best to help Tiki here. Was a third person shooter made by the same studio that made Alan the Wake series, Super Sick Combat with Mun, Hope Any Story. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here.
Maybe. I haven't played a lot of like shooter games in general. That was def that was definitely me in like high school and the early college, and then like I don't know, I just stopped playing them after a while. Maybe every now and then I might go back to one or two, but I think I had like that hardcore burnout on like Borderlands as a game series. I just stopped playing them in general. One shot. Thank you, Tiggy. Tiggy saving us big time there. We'll give shout outs to Tiggy every time the glitch happens. It is 100% the giant sword killing them. Ha! <laughs> Dead already? Give me chat. I was in that warp so fast. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's other games I definitely want to try on stream. Where does the voice line for the monolith come from? Oh, that would make Chris so sad if you heard that. That is from Zestaria. We have another clip where we talk about just how many times you have to go to tutorials in the, in the shape of monoliths. I believe the answer was 124 tutorials in that game. Not monuments, there's there's less than that, but there there's a lot of times you have to go through the tutorials. And so we were in New Game Plus and we got another monument. That's when we did the uh voice clip for that. Tiggy's through. Let's Tiggy Tiggy Slime Dupe. We're good, Tiggy. I'm that slime duping maniac. I'll pipe you in here, but I can't guarantee you you'll do anything. Eventually, I'm gonna use that to come out. Start from the stream. Protagonist South Nisa in the studio's progress. It's a really cool visit. Oh, I was gonna say when when I hear when I hear psychics and stuff like that, I think uh, a Die Volmer. So aside from Die Volmer, I think uh, Psyops. That game was quite something. Oh wait, what? We put a warp there. Actually, just got baited. What? I was like, wait a minute, there's a warp at the entrance. The bait was real. I took it. Yeah, Psyops probably had my most favorite combination of abilities in the game with telekinesis, mind control, flames, possessions. I'm so lucky I had invincibility there. I did not double check that. I should have died there, by the way, chat. But anyway, that one had a lot of fun and goofy physics. Like, for example, you could levitate uh, crates and fly on top of them while also shooting guns and stuff like that. So for a PS2 game, it had basically everything that I wanted in a game. It even had things where you could, like, mind drain people to rebuild meter. Kind of nice. Well, it was okay. Yeah, there we go. So you played some PsyOps. Nice. I remember I was not really excited to finish the story. I just wanted more stuff in the training room. I was like, but wait, I could summon more things to kill in the training room. Like, that that was my only focus. See, they, they knew how to appeal to me. It was like, story, eh. Training room shenanigans, hell yeah. I love that you could, like, stun the armored units briefly and then hit them with abilities they're normally immune to. I had a lot of fun with that game. But again, I don't know if that was how you're intended to play, but it was like, that's that's what I got excited for. Just training room shenanigans. Oh, you play some. Oh, oh, Varans. Oh no, leave me alone, Varans. Don't want to deal with you. What happened there? Like I can't unlock him. The force. And I can slow it down slightly. Eight being thirty. Oof. 
I've been there for a while, sadly. Alright, I'll try again. Oh, someone shot my trap. Oh, that wasn't me. I promise you I don't have Lieutenant Mantle on this time. Could not have been me. Too early. That sucked. That feeling when you cast it, but it's just too fast. I think the problem is the music is actually too loud. I can't hear the screens, so I'm going off of visuals. I'll turn that down later. So I'm going off of like literally purely blind timings. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn it down. It got really loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for the stream. But I, I physically can't even hear my gazons. Holy. Volume down, please. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I, I feel like that was much louder than the other songs. At least for me it was. I don't know why. But it was like, holy. Okay, I can hear my sword swings again. Thirty track. I don't think it was me. I don't think I rested. If I did, it might have been at the end of the boss fight. Both boss fight that might have been me. I, well, no, I thought I die mated. I was half paying attention. All I know is I did heal, but I don't think I used Resta. If I did, it was my bad. There we go. Yeah, like that that song was like way louder than everything we've been listening to. There we go. So you have to put a little delay in there. I'm just not used to doing it. If you combo too quickly in this game, you actually get hit. This game is more about like patient pressing, which is okay. Yeah, like it was like I was like, I legitimately could not hear the boss or my Gazan, so I was like, I have a no audio cue timer. It's unfortunate. Anyway, we killed the sorcerer. I can still move on. We don't have to kill the sorcerer in Viridian. I don't even think they give anything. What do they give? I'll walk into the teleport. And I'll double check. Have I played Legend of Dragoon? Very briefly. I didn't get very far in it. Oh, is it Lapis Cannon for Chaos Sorcerer? I forgot. I thought it was something else. Disregard. For some reason, I thought they were the ID that had nothing. I might have been thinking of uh, purple or something. They, they, like, technically have a rare, but, like, nobody wants it. Or even, honestly, Yellow ID. Yellow ID also doesn't have anything interesting from what I remember. Let's go buff the team back up. Yeah, we, we, we lowered that soundtrack down a little. What, to strain the ears? I think so. Yeah, apologize for I apo apologies for that chat. I didn't realize how loud it was until I heard it in context of the other things, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I just healed you. I was gonna say I revived somebody, but I don't count that. I think they know it's me a cookie. Oh no. Three battles QT before QT is very common place the game in nomenclature. Mm. Okay, 
I got I got the debuff this time. I did a chat. Oh the oh the jukes. Damn the boss the boss showed us what's up. They're like, oh you thought you thought we were gonna be on that side of the arena? No no no. There we go. You know what? I had enough. I'm spamming Gafoli in this fight. I'm tired of the team getting wiped by these spinners. Team dies anyway. Rip. In, please. No. Don't kill the boss when people don't have shit. Oh boy, it's gonna be a slow cycle. Alright, we'll, we'll crank it back up. Oh boy, this is gonna be a slow one. <sighs> Gotta heal. Gotta heal people. Damn, I, damn, we didn't even come close to doing a one cycle. Rip. Alright, let's see. On the plus side, we get another chance here. A hello 15 seconds. Alright, we should have we should be able to kill it here. Oh, wait. We're missing. Never mind. GG. For me at the end. I feel like I'm gonna get soul linked. Wow, did you see how little that did to me? What is my light resist that that did that much? I wanna check that now. Oh, like, wait a minute. Oh, it's 54. You know what? That makes sense now. Because I'm wearing Mother Garb. I was wondering why the boss was not knocking me down. I was like, wait a minute. Boss only did 200 to me. Think you're gonna give up on this last red ring? Oof. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm done for now. I got work tomorrow, sadly. I can't go too late tonight. But we'll be continuing, I think, on Tuesday, Thursday with uh, Chrono Cross. Mayhem! Oh, thank you, Degenerate. Unfortunately, we are just about to wrap up here. Hopefully, you are doing well today. Yeah, we literally just hit the last run. Yeah, I would normally offer to do another courtesy run, but I'm like, it's a work week. I, I unfortunately can't stay up that much later. I'll be feeling it all day. Let's see, was there anything fun in the shop? No, nothing fun in the shop. I guess we'll recap. We'll, we'll stall the stream a little bit. But I think from the standpoint of the event itself, I guess to recap, zero dwarf on eclairs. <laughs> actually horrendously none. We ended up with, I don't know, almost 400 silver badges. So we can probably get a Photon Sphere this time. So many choices for raids I couldn't decide, no worries. We got so many PDs during this event, we ended up with a Photon Horde. I mean, look at this. We have a 99 and a 56 just in here. And keep in mind, we have like several characters that are just holding 99s. So I think in the future, we'll be making some uh, Hue casts. So I think I now have over 400 powered materials just from this event. So overall, like in terms of prep for the future, we got some good stuff. So yeah, we'll we'll kind of go through there <laughs> with the century and abilities. Uh, so I think what we'll end up doing is probably gathering more 13s. We picked one up today, so technically that was on the list. We didn't really come across any slicers. We didn't really do any super runs for Lame to Argent. 
Iki did get a Heaven Striker, but it was kind of low roll. So technically we saw what we'll call the Power 6. We even got the common 3 out of the way. So I think going forward we'll be, uh, maybe we'll do like a, a bonus stream in the future just to go through the who knows how many character slots of bronze badges I have just to see if we could get anything interesting in a, we'll say like a 99 bronze badge gamble. And then I think after that chat we're going to probably starting not this week since I need a mental break since I was doing exams literally today and other things, but I think next week we might be able to start one of our many sections thereof for the uh, section ID guide. So we were putting together a really big document for people to prepare for ultimate and given that there's probably going to be like a bazillion new players that have hit ultimate due to the event, it would probably make sense to talk about stuff like that. How crazy is Halloween event compared to this event? Uh, it's like tame. We'll say if this if this event is fire, this one is like a stray ember. <laughs> the Halloween event, it's okay. I, I think Hellcleave thinks the same way too. I think that way too. It's kind of the if you have items to unlock, just play normal mode over and over and over and get cookies while unlocking things. So if you picked up any limiters or if you picked up any swordsman lore stuff like that, that's the time to do it. Mr. Matches Cal's Cookie Challenge, pretty much. It's just gonna be nothing but CCC cookies. <laughs> or I guess CCC might stand for chocolate chip cookies, who knows. So, I, I just don't find like the normal gameplay that exciting. So, I probably won't do too many bonus streams for it, because there's nothing that really unlocks compared to some of the other ones. Like, you think of it this way, like, Easter's also pretty tame with it. And you'll probably also do a lot of unlocks then. But things like Christmas and the anniversary events have a lot of special quests. There's more of like an incentive. But anyway, we're going to pause for now. We're going to briefly pop open something because I wanted to talk about the section IDs. But for people that wanted to contribute towards it, let me see if I can get this open. We are compiling recommendations as well as just general knowledge for section IDs that goes like way beyond whatever the wiki is. For Affinia, give me one second. So it is technically done. I have to refine it a little more, but it's going to take a very long time to go through. I just want to show you progress. So we have like many, 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 many notes on uh, section IDs. I guess we'll just go over a very brief summary of what to expect when we do more bonus streams. We have just general things of very fast, people don't want to read. Here are some recommendations for IDs. We have some ones talking about the, <laughs> I know it's very long. We have things for talking about like ID clearability, I want this to be like the ultimate guide. I don't ever want to touch this topic ever again. I want this to be the end. So we talk about things like value hunts. I was talking about the power six earlier. Like these are the six strongest items in the game and people will do hunts based off of these. These are the common three items that could be found on different difficulties uh, that could basically end up being uh, kind of end game gear. You know, your vice, your dire, your just get brave man. And, you know, you talk about, like, what things are payoffs if you're talking about it in the context of trading. So we start talking about it in, like, a very high-level sense. Well, I guess it's more low-level because we're drilling down to the numbers. Like, what things actually sell for a lot of PDs, just to give some sample values to put everything in context. So from that standpoint, for people that don't care about trading, we have a separate section talking about classes. Like, what items are useful on what characters including like what would be your primary hunts versus secondaries. So I split up pretty much every item in the game. I'm not going to say every item is on this list because I don't want it to be, but it's the ones that should be hunted. So the intent being that if you are just casually playing a person and you don't know on your massive list, first time playing, what items you could hunt for, 
I have little summaries for each of the IDs talking about items you get per character, putting everything in context, which is not really there in other places, talking about where some of your, like, what some of your good runs are, and giving you quest samples. So that way people that are looking to understand, like, like, why is Sky ID, like, good for this? Why do people pick purple on Rangers? Why do people pick white ID for general clear? I want those questions to just kind of be answered and to give that kind of information to players that are looking to learn the game a little better and see some of the differences, especially if they're coming more from, like, a GameCube or uh, Blue Burst perspective. They might not know about, like, the heart of items or some of the other changes and quality of life features in Affinia. So I just want to make sure that this kind of covers everything. Like, honestly, I want this to be as extensive as possible. It's not going to list like every possible quest, but if chat has any other ones that they recommend, I try to list at least two quests per episode unless they're really struggling for good runs. Um, and I think from that standpoint, you know, if we want to go down into the individual areas, like we're going to talk all the way down in a different video, but using the same guide, uh, talking about things like why everybody was doing a lot of trade hunts <laughs> or doing a lot of white forest and blue forest. So for people that were getting really confused why like the forest anniversary quest was getting so many points, talking about those kinds of things in this guide and breaking down. Oh, I forgot to make an update there. See, one update I highlighted, so at least it's easy to find later. But anyway, talking about, um, actually let me highlight these two. So talking about the text here, oh, that's not the highlight tool, one second, there we go. So talking about some of these individual areas and kind of comparing and contrasting what IDs are like quote unquote strong and then kind of evaluating from the whole, you know, what ones are really good for episode one, you know, who's doing the hunts where potentially. I want to kind of just draw attention to that, like the value quests and things that are like almost worth like full time grinding, or at least they might be niche and not like full time grinds like a Christmas fiasco, for example. Uh, but giving this information to the players in like one spot might help people. So I'm hoping that one of these many, many subsections will help people understand. If people are just looking to understand what items you could get in general because you're doing like a full hunt versus like per class or what you can clear because again people play the game in a whole bunch of different ways i'm hoping these lists will help draw attention to things that you can get uh in each category so we have it like specialized by class versus like the different subtypes and then finally i just want to make sure if you want to make your own comparisons or you want to understand how i got to those lists i kind of leave the we'll put the cliff note the others were kind of cliff notes i put in like the long details talking about every single drop dividing it into primaries and secondaries to see why I value some hunts over others. The so people want to go like, oh, I don't agree it's, this is a secondary or I don't agree this is the primary. I want you to be able to make that choice for yourself, but at least put it in context that might be a little easier to do. I do think in particular it's harder for players, at least visually, to understand like every good drop in places like Tower, where it shares enemies across different areas, or even to some extent Episode 4, where it's really easy to forget like satellite lizard versus yaoi or what the zuzu has or zoo has you're like scrolling up and down between two things is that linked in the discord already uh yeah it's been in the discord since the beginning of the event it's in its own little thread so if you're in the discord i don't agree having never played nice fg so if you want to potentially talk about the list we have a special thread under pso I don't think anybody mentioned anything. I guess I could put text in there. Make it pop up again. I think it goes idle after a while. Give me one second. I'll type in here. Reminder to update guide. I'm going to put it there so people can find it in the Discord again. I think it naturally hides after a week. Yeah, It'll pop up under the threads. So anyway, this covers basically everything. It goes into a lot of detail in the beginning because a lot of this is just like talking about how I categorize things before I actually do it. So if people are kind of just looking for like a quick guide for different kinds of hunts where they're like, damn, I made red ID, what do I hunt in red ID? Or, oh, I have a pink ID character, but I've heard people kind of like crap all over this ID. Where is it actually good? 
and then like you look at these potential options and go oh i actually have some decent options that people don't talk about obviously some are going to be a little better than others and some will be very niche and that's where we're going to try to make that delineation when we go into the video guide but i think overall you know recognizing that there are value hunts that different ids can do we're recognizing uh kind of I'll say more obscure hunts, like doing, uh... I would say most new players would not know to do CCC on very hard on blue, for example, where they might not realize, uh, playing through the game the first time, that Phone Newman Blue ID Episode 4 is, like, silly busted. So I'm gonna draw attention to those things when we go into here, where there's not necessarily like ultimate only items on the list because sometimes they can get these on different difficulties i want to draw attention to that because in particular for forces they could get things prior to ultimate that are worth hunting on the id so sometimes that'll come into consideration as to why i potentially recommend a character class over another so anyway this is going to be a massive document it's going to take like i don't know like four videos i would imagine just to get through it all but it's all going to be condensed in one place, and it'll link to our other guides that we've done. So for people looking to get started or looking to go a bit further, I want this to be, as I said before, the, the ultimate guide. <laughs> I want this to cover, like, literally everything. And if you think there's a quest in here that is competitive with the nonsense of uh, new mop-up operation 3 resets slash 4 resets, or something like Purple Pod, or even CCC to an extent, uh, just make sure to mention it. I'll, I'll see if it makes sense to add. Um, and we do have some more specific targeted hunts versus like value hunts. So there's there's possibly things we have to add in here. I think I made a note the other day to add something for orange. I don't remember if I did. Let's see if I did. Yes. So like we'll talk about things that are like very niche hunts. I don't know if I'll tag. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll tag them. I don't know. We'll see how it goes as I go through. Some some are definitely more recommended than others, but there are some quests that are very specific to certain IDs that are worth running. But then recognize overall there's some quests that actually have some pretty good value throughout. So we'll hopefully draw attention to those in case people are, you know, stuck in TTFRT land and they haven't really branched out and we're curious about other things that might be fun to play. So hopefully this will give some inspiration to play other quests. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to mention TTF if it's good, but I just want to make sure, like, do people know about, like, fragments of a memory on Red ID Hard? Things of that nature. Like, I don't know how many people just know that offhand, that this is, like, the ID to do it on. D parts is actually good. You know what I mean? So that's where we're going to analyze, you know, kind of the item list as we go through and see where it goes. Right there. But anyway, just like a couple minor things I need to touch up, mostly just in the summary sections, but the full lists and the initial content I think is good. So, leave it at that. Ultimate all caps, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, I, I think it's interesting because, as I said before, um, there's been a lot of players that have come in talking about things like self-found versus like trade value versus... You know, generally, I want to find some things that are good. <laughs> dishonorable mentions. We did have dishonorable mentions, because I do think people fall for the classic traps, and I don't know why they waste their time doing those things. We we put that in there for uh, Blue Heaven Punisher and Purple Caves. Please don't do those. So things of that nature. There There's better hunts if you want the Ubers. It, it's kind of you're trading like the, the the run is easier but it would take like literally hundreds of times longer so we'll we'll talk about some of those for sure and unfortunately we have a we have a little section for yellow boss when they uh murdered lost soul blade <laughs> rip yellow boss lost soul blade never to be played again on stream the nerf is real but anyway we'll draw attention to those things as we go through and uh, yeah, hopefully people will find some quests to go through. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube as we wrap up the final stream for the event, since I will not be playing tomorrow. Purple CCA, Greater Than Blue Forest. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to make sure that I have some of the alternates in there. Like, I don't know if I have every single alternate, 
I'll, I'll make a note to double check uh, Purple Gnome. I know, for example, we talk about orange ID uh, Gibble hunts for Psycho 1, for example. But for Heaven Punisher, I don't remember if I did anything for that. So I think that's worth potentially mentioning uh, those other ones. Because again, like the, the chance of you getting it is literally a hundred or more fold in your favor to do the other hunts. And you can get items other than uh, mostly bad ones. <laughs> it's just kind of like, uh... So we'll, we'll talk about that when we get into it. But anyway, uh, that's all for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.